There is coming a day when no heartache shall come. No more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face the one who saved me by his grace when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land what a day glorious day that will be there will be no sorrows there no more burdens to bear no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there. And forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day. That will be what a day, what a day that's gonna be when my Jesus I shall see, and I look and I look upon His face, the one who saved me by His grace. I see you. Good afternoon. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a 
Afternoon, Facebook and YouTube. It's a good afternoon on a Tuesday afternoon in my neck of the world where the weather is lovely. Good afternoon, 97.3 Unity with Love Radio. Let me take it back from the top once again. It is indeed a beautiful day here. Let me greet the Spirit of the Lord because He is here. Paula Mills, good afternoon to you, my beautiful queen. Norma Dacus, good afternoon. Minister Bowman, greetings. There is Let me say a pleasant good afternoon to you, Dr. Apostle Michael Paul Bennett and Lady Renee Bennett. Shall come. Raiders Royalty locked on 97.3 Unity with Love Radio. Good afternoon to you. No more tea. Kai and Ralph, I saw that you were the first one on. Good afternoon, Kai and Ralph. All is peace. Sergeant Paulette, it's Tuesday. Good afternoon. On that Sister Shirley Lumney, greetings and welcome. Sure. Kirk Evans, good afternoon. Javarni out of the UK greetings. Colleen Thomas, welcome. It is indeed a beautiful day. day. Welcome to Positive Praise on a Tuesday afternoon, the marathon show. My Jesus, now all I ask is that you minister, you do your part, you do your portion by calling someone and tell them to turn on. The one who said, Turn the radio on to 97.3 or 106.9. Tag someone if you're on Facebook and tell them to come on because Pastor Debbie out of Nigeria should be coming on. There will be no sorrows there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there. So let me greet one and all in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. What a day. As I tell you, I take it not for granted that you are spending these times and these hours with me. I appreciate you. 
Triple B is in the house. Happy anniversary, Sister Brenda Lynn Broomfield Blake and my brother Desmond. Good afternoon and happy anniversary. Sidonia Roberts, thank you for sharing. Good afternoon to you, beautiful queen. Barbie could do. Barbie, I saw you. It feels good. It really and truly feels good. And if it's if this is your first time, I want to greet you. Raquel Livingston, good afternoon. What a day. What a day. Amen. Amen. Pastor Debbie coming on. And of course, she's one powerful woman of God. Once again, let me say welcome, welcome to a Positive Praise right here on 97.3 Unity with Love Radio, broadcasting out of the state of New York, in the city of money, earning Mount Vernon. Let me greet all of the ministers who minister right here on these broadcasts and these platforms. God bless you. Keep up the good work. Every single one of you. I may not know you by name, but you know your name, right? And today we have our special guest. She will be coming up a little later on in the show. Minister Alizia Wells out of the UK. One powerful powerhouse of a minister. She will be coming to us and we will be having a conversation. Sandra Duncan out of Trinidad and Tobago. Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for your share, Minister Bowman. And of course, we have Taylor Care, who's going to give us some good health tips. They will be coming up. And Rev is coming today. Reverend Paula is coming. So sit back and relax. Feel free at any point to call if you want to agree, disagree, or if you want to be in the middle of things. You can call in at 718-569-6622, 718-569-6622, and participate in the show. You can agree, you can disagree, or if you want to be in the middle of the show, that's fine with me. You can be the peanut butter and the jelly. You can be the cheese if you want. Or the bully beef. Some people like the bully beef. But as for me, you could have put a julie manga in a migla two slice of bread. And that's a good sandwich for me. So good afternoon to you, Diane Davis. <laughs> Molly, beautiful Molly. How are you? Let my life, mighty God, be a reflection of the goodness that you have done on this world world when you walked it so continue to use me mighty god continue to use me i just love you can you feel the love i have for you good afternoon to my mother-in-law miss lane how are you i know you're listening good afternoon to you 
to share. Miss Margaret and Clarence, how are you guys doing? Reverend Paula. Minister Brown Benz and my only niece in America. Good afternoon. Uncle Trevor, Uncle Donald, Uncle Wally, Mr. Norris, big up on herself. I'm so, so, so Sister Lana Banana, how you do? Some people eat banana sandwich too, you know. Anything you slap in at the middle, if that's where you're comfortable, find yourself in there. Keep me free. But as for myself, I want to be at the end, man. I don't want to be in the middle. And now it's a very uncomfortable place. You are so as I was saying, feel free to call in the show and participate. You, you can agree. You can disagree. And as well, you can send me just a stand up in the middle, you know, and tell me who you are in the middle. Oh. Telephone number once again is 718-569-6622. Pops, how are you? Nikisha, a long time in the ear from Pops. You know where Pops there? Hey, Pops, I'm going to seriously come find you now. I'm going to seriously come find you. Help me now. Yes, man, claustrophobic in the middle. Yes, it's going to be in the middle. Help me now. I really want to talk about the middle you know some of these days because it will make a great conversation you know like if you were a middle child you know you don't know say the first child is preference the last child or the baby and if god forbid if you are the middle child you, you just get look over and if you're used to sleeping out of bed and you know you're sleeping at the middle and somebody else peep in the bed uh, you are get blamed because you're in the middle Let me bathe myself and keep that for later on in the show. But let me say good afternoon and thank you. Now there goes. I put a smile on your face. Mission accomplished. Good afternoon to you, the Ralph's family, power, prayerful mother. Sophia Green, how are you, baby girl? And as I wait for my um, prayer person to call and... She's here. Good afternoon and welcome. Hi, Auntie Donna. How are you? Hello, Susie. How are you, my darling? I am great. I'm doing good. Yes. Good. You're great. I'm greater. Yeah, you're, 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 you're gooder. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All is good. All is good. All is gooder. Good, good, good. good. God. So let us open up right. in prayer and then until um, oh. Pastor Debbie comes. Yes. Yes, amen, yes, yes, amen. Yes. Hallelujah, thank hallelujah, you, hallelujah. Mm. Heavenly Father, we honor you this moment. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace, your mercies, and your faithfulness. Heavenly Father, as we come boldly before your throne of grace and mercy, Father, we ask, O oh Lord God, that you bless this broadcast, you bless this platform, O oh Lord God. And as Pastor Debbie come, Father, we pray, Lord God, that the word that she bring in, Lord, that it will enable us, Lord God, to to feel and know who you are more yes, and God. more. Lord, the word that she's bringing, Father, that it will encourage us to go deeper into a closer relationship with you, Father. We ask that you bless Pastor Debbie. We ask that you give her your strength also to bring the word, O oh Lord God, which will be a blessing to many, Father. Father, we ask that you bless Auntie Donna, bless this platform, bless her her family, and I ask that you give Auntie Donna your strength, Thank your ability, you, your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Father, she goes forward, oh Lord God, and representing this broadcast on you, for you, oh Lord God, and for My you God. only, not My for God. man, but for you, Father. You, Father, we give you all the praises, we give you all the honor and the glory, because you're worthy, almighty God. You're worthy of all our praises. Everything that we do, oh Lord God, should and will bring glory to thy holy name, because all glory, all honor and praises belongs on to thee and thee only. Father, we ask you right now, Holy Spirit, we invite you in this platform, we invite you in this broadcast, and we ask that you do what only you can do. And Father, as listeners continue to listen, Father, Lord God, I pray that, Lord God, that their spirit, Lord God, 
will be pierced with the words, oh Lord God, because we need to be feed upon your word yes, in order to be a doer in, and a walk in your words, oh Lord God. And Father, Lord God, our walk has to, you know, line up with, our, with the doing of your word, Father. So we just want to give you praises. We just want to thank you. We just want to glorify thy holy name for great and mighty you are holy, wonderful, and magnificent, for there's no other God before or after thee. You are the God of Isaac, Jesus, Abraham, and Jacob. You. you are the same God today, tomorrow, yesterday, and forever. And Father, your word does not go back to you because you said, I am not man that I should lie. So therefore, your, your word, Father, is for for us, it never go back unto you, oh Lord God. You're not a God that would lie to your children. Amen. So we just want to honor you. And we just want to praise you. And we just want to glorify your holy name. Amen. Bless, oh Lord God, right now, each and every one that's listening. Father, whatever they're facing, whatever they're going through, Lord God, I pray that the word will encourage them to stand strong in your words and to take up your wor words and use it Hallelujah. in every situation that they're going through to speak life because Jesus. authority is given to them, Lord God. God, and they should know authority is in the in their tongue, oh Thank Lord God. Jesus. And they have the weapon, oh Lord God. So I ask, oh Lord God, that you will open their understanding, you open their eyes and their ears spiritually. In Yeshua Hamashiach, mighty name I pray. And I said, Thank you, Abba, because this you shall do in Yeshua mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to the other name. God bless you. Bless you, Auntie God Donna. Bless you, and I can speak God. And listen. God bless Thank you. you. God bless you. God bless you. My God, my God, my God, what a way to start the show off this afternoon. What a way to start this afternoon. Mighty God, mighty God. Let me tell you something. The littlest thing that we do for God is much in his sight. The smallest thing that you think that you are doing it's, it's, it's huge in the sight of the Lord. Uh, don't watch the huge things that others perceive to be doing. Stay in your smallness and see what God will do. Good afternoon to you, Verona Smith Horton. Mrs. Horton, how are you? What can wash away my sin? Lord, I thank you. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I thank you for your blood, mighty God. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Let me say thank you for keeping it locked. My intention is that whatever is presented to you this afternoon will be exactly what you're desiring. You will hear one word, one song that is exactly what you need. So right now I ask that you get your heart in a neutral position. Ready for what the Lord will deposit into you. Precious Christine, hey, good afternoon. Thank you for sharing. And if you did not share, this is a perfect time to do so. I am particularly excited about today's show because of the persons who we have that's going to be ministering to us. We need this word. Remember, this is positive praise and positive radio. We do things positive around here. Good afternoon to you, Minister Tyson. Send it on down, Lord, let the Holy Ghost come on down. Send it on down. Oh, Jesus. Come on down, Lord, let the Holy Ghost come on down. Ray, Ray. Send it on down. Pastor Tanya. Down, Lord, Mother Chang Chan. Come on down. Good afternoon to you. Send it on down. Mother Aita. Send it on down. Mother Liz. Lord, let the Holy Ghost come on down. Lord, we're your children, and we are asking for you to send your fire. Our hearts are hungry, our spirits are thirsty. We really need your power. Just like the prophet, he said it would be. 
in the last days and our pouring will see. Go big up back to Ghana, all the music machines. I don't know what the session is. Lord, won't you send your holy ghost down? Send it on down. Send it on down. Lord, let the holy ghost come on down. Send it on down. Send it on down. Lord, let the holy ghost Let's take that one back from the top once again. Did I say thank you for joining? Thank you. What can Let me say good afternoon to those of you behind the scenes and YouTube. Nothing but the blood of I pray all is well with Pastor Debbie. Minister Bowman, could you reach out to her for me? Me I appreciate you. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Can I tell you that, uh, you know, I've said it over and over, and this is where we keep things positive, but uh, I want you to look at the struggles that you're facing as a positive um, thing. I want to look at the fight that you're getting, because some of us, we just get fight as a positive um occurrence thank you very much woman of god minister bowman Jesus, oh if david didn't have a son if joseph didn't have him bread at him where would they be if anna never have a penina but we're going to get a struggle and it's a good thing and if you don't have any of those you need a few of them the Lord will come through for you Verona the Lord will come through for you baby girl Miss Jean and Uncle Joe, Miss the Function, how are you? All the ministers at Unity with Love INC at 684 Britain Street, good afternoon to you. My big baby is here, Fiona Brown. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon to you, Minister Taj. How are you this afternoon? I'm good. How are you? I am weller. I am gooder. It look like it look like you get a new skin color. Oh. I lie, be alive. What do you mean? They say it look like your skin color get darker a little bit. It get Julie lie, Julie alive. color. Oh, the Julie color you got <laughs> get. <laughs> So, so my question, so here my question to you now: What is the jewelry color there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Anyway, a pleasant good afternoon and welcome back. <laughs> good afternoon, thank you, Taj. <laughs> also, I am calling to wish Triple B and my father T B. A very happy anniversary. Yes, absolutely. And how many how many years have they been celebrating? They have been celebrating nineteen years. Wow! Congratulations. Uh huh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let me not say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Yes. I, I, I thought- I soon come for my Julie color, you know. I soon come for my Julie, Julie color, color. me get. A Julie color, me get. A Julie color, me get. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in. It's indeed a pleasure to have you. And of course, you know, it's always good to, to be in the house of the Lord. Right? Amen. 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 All right. Let me warm it up a little bit until... um. Um, until Pastor oh, Debbie come it. through, you know, I do have Minister Elise Wells out of the UK. She is, she's out there. She ready like Freddie. So we're going to take it up a notch. What do you say? Take it up. Take, take it, it up. up. Take All, it right. up. All right. All right. It is indeed a pleasure to take it up a notch. There's a 
city of gold across the river. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> A pleasant good afternoon to you. Hello? Hello? I'm to good good afternoon to you pastor hello, debbie to donna hello pastor debbie how are you i'm good and you gooder <laughs> i am gooder <laughs> <laughs> hey. that's a good one i'm goodest <laughs> I tell you, this is so infectious, you know. I, I love it. I love I love how it's infectious. This this nice positive laugh and the good of business. It a it a catch up. Yeah. So greetings, woman of God, yeah. my pastor out of Nigeria. Welcome, welcome. We are here anxiously waiting for you. And we're anxious for what the Lord Hallelujah. will lay um have laid on your heart for you to to teach us this afternoon. So let me get my pen and my paper Hallelujah. in the meantime. So the floor is all yours. Greetings, greetings, Sister Sunshine, Sunshine. Good evening, our listeners. Yes. Good evening, listeners of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, My dear friend, Aunt Donna, yes. Mary Bowen, Bowman, and so many other to Mama Paulette. I, I want to appreciate God for everyone's life, for the privilege to be here today. I just want to talk about worship, worship. Father, we thank you because you are good and, and because you are good to us, you have caused everything to work together for us for good. We appreciate you. Thank you for the privilege to be on once again. Thank you for the privilege to share your word. We give you all the glory. Come and take your place tonight. Speak to us individually and speak to us as a family. Family. Amen. We honor your name. Let it be your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Worship is something that everybody talks about. We are going to have worship events. We are having a worship service. We are having a worship days. And many a times we 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 use the word out of context. We but we don't actually implement the word. We don't actually execute that word. Mm -hmm. we, we gather together and we do every other thing except worship. Mm -hmm. We meet together. We do our best. We put everything we have in there except worship. And you so, so, so what is what? Worship is reverencing God recognizing that God is there. Not just that he's there, that he's in charge of everything. The Bible says he's the maker of all things. John 1 verse 1. In the beginning, was the, it said there was nothing made that was made. And so when we worship God, we recognize him as the supreme authority. No other authority. When we worship God for our lives, we recognize the fact that we have no power to take any decision except that God, the supreme authority, is in charge. Whatever he says, stands. That was says, wherever he sent me, I will go. And, and so when we talk of worship, it's not just about singing. It's not all about about dying together. Sometimes as, as, as an individual, maybe you just sit down in your house and you see things go the way they are not supposed to go. And you just begin to say, Father, I worship you. Because the cattle upon a thousand hills are yours. I worship you because the situation that I find myself, the financial lack will Will not last forever. I give you glory because you will supply my needs according to your riches in glory. I worship you because you are more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Not because I'm seeing. Paul Apostle said, calling those things that are not as though they were. Not because I have seen it. But because I know the one that is in charge. David said to Goliath in the book of 1 Samuel, he said, he said, 
Whereas you have come with me to me with all your experience, with all your weapons. But you see, I have nothing. The only thing is I have come in the name of the God, of the captain of Israel. He is the supreme being. His, his, his authority is supreme. His skill is supreme. His, his talent is supreme. Everything about him is supreme. No other alternative when it comes to God. And so David surrendered everything. You know, David told Saul in the earlier chapter. He said to Saul, I have, I have wrestled with, with lion and I have killed them. I have wrestled with, with, with bear and I have killed them. I was a CV. So this uh, uncircumcised Philistine will be the same thing. But when he met the uncircumcised Philistine, he did not start telling him his credential. He just told him, man, you don't get it. It's not about what I can do. Neither is it, because of, it's, neither is it about what I know how to do. It's about the God that I have. It's about the defense that I have. It's about the authority that I rest on. It's about, about the, the, the strength that, that I, I, I have. It is it's about the person in charge of this world. You don't get it. It's not between you and I. It's between my God and your God. And my God has the supreme authority. Worship. Laying it down. Supply. Saying it, Lord. I, I, these things, I can't handle it any longer. Worship. Oh, oh. Until we can begin to raise our hands and goose pimples. That is not all about worship. Worship is, is giving up everything we believe we know. And we lay them before him. And we said, Lord, how do you want me to do it? I know that this is the way I know it. But how do you want me to do it? That is worship. How do I go about it? Oh, 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 you had a plan for a great, great launch. You, and, and the launch is, you, you've been waiting and you've been wanting and you wake up in the morning and the Lord said to you, do a fast today. And you're like, what? But the Lord said, do a fast today. And then you dash it. You reverence him above every other thing. You place him above every other thing. You raise him higher than any other thing. Oh, Worship. Mm. Not because, oh, it's, it's easy. No, worship isn't easy. Worship is not an easy thing. If anybody tell you worship is easy, then that person is just making noise. Because worship will cost you your spirit. Worship will cost you your mind. Worship will cost you your plans. Worship will cost you your will. Jesus said, he said, Father, not my will, but that your will be done. Jesus had the power to say, I will not lay my life down again for man. Because he, he said, I lay my life down for man, not because I was compelled to, but I did it voluntarily. And so I lay my life down, I can also take it up. But because he worshipped God. He said, let, let his will be my will. Mm. He said, the, my will of him that sent me, mm. that is worship, laying down everything before him. Mm -hmm. Laying down every authority, every desire, every, everything that you know that stands between you Everything you know that once you want to do something, if that thing will come up and said, oh, 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 don't you think, don't you think, don't you think, oh, watch it. Don't let anything stop your worship. Mm. Don't let anything hinder your worship. If you say you are worshiping God and then the Lord asks you to do something and you are not doing, you have not started. It's, that's not worship. Mm. Worship takes everything about you take everything from you everything mm. yourself your will your desires your plans what you believe is your purpose i just i just made an example oh oh okay you 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 know there was there was sometimes you 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 just get back and you don't feel like doing anything and the lord said to you tonight i need you to wait on me and then you have to start praying and then you know what your tomorrow is going to look like. And once you begin to pray like he told you to pray, that is worship. Mm. It's not only when we sing. Mm. 
Um, you know, you know, I'm a music minister, yes. so I, I understand what worship is when we minister. You don't have to have the best of voice to worship God. No, you don't have. You don't need any skill to worship God. All you need to do is to make sure that He is the Lord over everything you do. That is reverencing, and that is worship. Worship. Sometimes you move on the road and you see the gentle breeze blow you. And what would you say? Ah, that breeze is nice. No, the breeze is actually doing their own work. They are worshiping God. Mm. Every day that the sun comes out, mm. for, 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 for people outside African countries, we have the sun virtually every day. We don't have summer and, and so on. So we, we see the sun all the time. And so when you we see the like, and so when we now travel abroad, we are like, okay, where's the sun? And they said we are in winter, so the sun will not show. Okay, but why? Why do we see us every day? Because that's the way He has ordained it, and because He has ordained it that way, we need to say, Baba, I worship you. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1, he said, and when he made them, he said, he saw that it was good, perfect, reverence. Nobody else could say, oh, oh, okay, the way God made the fish, I didn't really like the, the design of the catfish, I didn't really like the way it designed um, tilapia, I didn't really like the way, oh, 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 oh. once he has made it, we all appreciate it, because he's the supreme authority, and that's the way it ought to be for us. We are in church and you are in a worship service. You enter the church, the usher will say to you, sit there. He said, no, I don't really want to sit there. And yet you came to worship God. You get to church, the pastor said, let's rise for prayers. You sit down, I don't feel like sitting. And you said you came to worship. Can we close our eyes as we pray? Are you open yours to see what is going to happen? And you said you came for worship. No. When you come to worship, you don't have a will. You don't have a desire. You don't have anything you love or anything you hate. When you come to worship, your will is his will. Mm -hmm. Your desire is his desire. Mm -hmm. And I pray this moment that the Lord will help us to worship him. The Lord will help us to understand how we should worship him. That is not all about singing and raising holy hands. Our lives need to start the worship. Mm -hmm. Our lives, our spirit, mm. our thoughts, our plans, our purposes needs to start the worship. Mm. We need to learn to say, Lord, this is me. Mm. Wherever you sent me, I will go. I am ready. Mm. I don't care what it is. I will go. And you get to worship service, you are there for God, not for anybody, mm. not for any man, not for any woman. Whatever they ask you to do in church because you are there to worship, you do it in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. You do it with your own heart because you are there for God. Nothing will distract you. Thank you, Jesus. Worship starts from the heart and it flows down. Who are we worshiping? Mm -hmm. The great I am that I am. The, the almighty God. The Alpha and Omega. Yeah. He's the one that begins all things. He wants is the one that ends all things. Jeez. Now the thing is this: the beginning is inside of him, and the end is also inside of him. Jeez. Without him, there is no beginning, and without him, there is no end. He's the one that laid the foundation of the earth, and he sits down and controls it in a part in one orbit, and he rotates the earth. Scientists are still looking for the orbit. They don't know how it rotates mm -hmm. because the one in charge. Is the supreme God. And that is why we should worship him. When he was trying to explain himself to Job, he said, do you know where the wild mountains, the wild goats give birth? Have you ever delivered them? Or do you know where I kept, where I keep the sun till they break? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have an idea? He's the one that sits in heavens and he made the it's so big that he sits in the heavens and he made the earth his footstool. And so his legs are so big that he cannot, the heavens alone cannot contain him. Hallelujah. That is the person we are worshiping. He's beyond the person. Mm. 
all he did, all he did to part the Red Sea, I've seen the Red Sea physically, was just to, to breathe. The Bible says with the blast of his nostrils, he parts the sea. Jesus. That's the God we are worshipping. Mm. It's not a God we need to go and pour water on his head or pour oil upon him or try to make him look good. He's good himself. The Bible says God is good. Mm. He does not need you and I to make him feel good. Mm-hmm. The psalmist says, if you don't clap for him, he said the flood will clap. Jesus. He's made everything beautiful. So if, if we don't worship him as the people of his, as his people, he made us in his own image. Mm. The, cla- the, the, the flood will clap. Every morning, the singing, the voices of the birds wakes us up to worship this God. Mm. The God that changes situation, yet nothing can change him. The ch- God that opens the door and no man, no one, no power dares to shut it. And the God that blesses and nobody dare to curse. The God that leads, he said, promotion cometh not from the north or from the east or from the south or from the west, but promotion cometh from the Lord. The God that promotes and no man can bring down. Mm. The God that says, now is your time and no man can say otherwise. He looked at Mordecai. He said, you have done enough. Now is your time. Dear God. My God. The Egyptians, you won't see them again. Mm. You won't see them again. For the Egyptians you saw yesterday, you'll see them no more. My because God. he's the one that says, let it be. And nothing else can say it will not be. He went with peaks. No one dares to say, what did you say? Understanding comes to everyone straight. You don't, you don't ask, what did he say? What, what did he say? The understanding comes on everyone because it's underst- he is the understanding himself. Mm. When he was laying the foundation for, the, for Mount Everest, I don't know if there was anybody there. Do you ever imagine how Mount Everest would stand that tall? For so We all met it on earth and we are going to leave it on earth. Yet, he's not coming. That is the supreme God that we, we worship. And so when we begin to think of me, he, me, how, he, this is how, uh, it's me, it, it, it's the way I like it, it's the way I don't like it, I don't like the way I'm treated in church, I don't like the way the pastor spoke, I don't like, I don't like, so who cares what you like or what you don't like? Mm. Who cares? Worship. Pack yourself up and give them worship. Jesus. It's not about, it's not about what you like or you don't mm-hmm. like, or who likes you. Mm. I'm sorry to use that word, but who cares about what you are? Because everything about you is fake. Mm-hmm. Come back to reality and give them worship. When you give them worship, they will make the inferiority complex within you to become full and you feel great. Mm. Some of us are not worthy to even speak anywhere, but he's made us great. Yes. He's, he's made me what, 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 what you know, people can want to listen to. It's not because I know how to speak. He, he, the almighty God, the supreme God, the supreme authority has made me what People want to hear today. Mm. Now, why? Because whatever he says, I lay them down. Father, what do you want me to do? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Sometimes it can be so discouraging, but yes, Lord. And Donna knows what I went through last week, but yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Thank you. He knows it all. Before it happened, he knows it. Yes. He said, I know you all by name. Even the on your head, I can number, I have, num- I have numbered them. He said they are numbered. It means none of them will fall off without his permission. Jesus. That is a God that we serve. Mm. Mm. Leave the you when you get to church. Leave the you when you're in your house. Leave the situation aside and just say, Father, I worship you. With, from the depth of your heart, I worship you. For who you are in my life, I worship you. For what you have done for me, I worship you. For making provision for salvation. I worship you. I bow at your feet. I lay my will at your feet. I lay my plans at your feet. I lay my thoughts at your feet. I lay my pains at your feet. Mm. I lay my mm. feelings at your feet. I just lay them. I lay them at Glory. your feet. Hallelujah. Because I have nothing mm. without you. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I have nothing without, I'm nothing without Ooh, you. To God. Everything I have 
Paul Apostle said in the book of Second Corinthians, I think chapter 6 or there about or chapter 12. He said, by the grace of God, I am what I am, not because I have it. So everything I have, I lay them down to worship you, Lord. I just lay it down. Help me. Hmm. Help me. I lay them down. Whatever I think I can do, whatever I'm important, I feel within me. I, I, I'm sorry, Lord. I just lay them down. Glory to God. And I lay them down to worship hmm. you. I lay them down to worship you. Mm. I lay them down to worship you, Lord. I just lay them down to worship you. I lay my pains down to worship you. I lay my inabilities down to worship you. I lay all the flaws in my life down to worship you. Just to worship you. And we're worshiping you is to do your will. That is worship. I know a lot of people are saying, what kind of worship is she talking about? We know what worship is. What is this one? <laughs> the Bible talks about Mary Magdalene that, that she took the, an expensive oil and she poured on the feet of Jesus and she used her hair to clean it. Worship. Mm. It wasn't the res- lifting up of hands or, or, or singing of a song. It was an action that shows, oh, I don't have anything. I'm nothing without you. Oh my God. People condemned her because they never understood what she was doing. And Jesus explained to them that there is no day the, the gospel, one way that the gospel will be mentioned, that her name will not be mentioned. Is it not like that today? Jesus. You need to give your heart to Jesus in the place. I'm not talking about unbelievers now. I'm talking about us, we children of God. Yes. We need to let lay it down. Mm. Some people say, I can't cover my head to church. Yet you use wig to church. <laughs> Why would you use wig to church? And then you you not walk in. I'm not saying that leaving your hair open to church is, is, a, is a sin. No, that's not what I'm saying. But when you're in a church where they said cover your hair, cover your hair. If you can't walk there, move to another church. Don't go and, and hinder the people of God from being blessed. And don't go there and hinder yourself from being blessed. Worship. It's not about how you feel. It's not. It's not, it's not about how you want to do it. No. It's not about the best of the instruments. No. It's not about the best of the atmosphere. No. It's Glory not about how God. you feel, how much, how much you have. It is not about how much you have. It's not about who knows you. Jesus. It's not about how you, how you can do it, how you walk. It's not about the fact that you are beautiful or you are ugly. No. It's about God. Worship is about God. Oh my God. Worship is about God, mm. the maker of heaven and earth, the one that dwells in heaven and directs the affairs of men. Mm. That same God that says, let it be, and it became so. That same God that rules, and no man dare challenge him. That same God that reigns, mm. and no man dare say, when are you going to leave the throne so that I take your place? The only person that does it remain in hell. And he would die in hell. His name was Lucifer. He's now Satan. He was the only one that dares to say, I, 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 when are you going to leave the throne? And the Lord puts him where he will rule forever. My God. In hell, fire. My Constant God. fire burning. Nobody challenges authority and leave. So many are sexual. And they are not allowed to even witness it. Change your worship attitude. Change your worship behavior. Oh, my son, Tyler, change the way you worship him. Change the way you worship him. Mm. Let's change the way we worship him. Let's change the way we worship God. Mm. He he deserves more worship. He deserves more from us. Mm. He deserves much more. And for you that you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you don't even have a clue of what we are saying. You don't even understand what I'm saying. Number one thing you need to do is to ask Jesus to come into your life. That's the beginning of all the worship. When you ask Jesus into your life, you, you, have, you have actually have started the worship. And when you start that way, you start it the right way. Ask Jesus to come into your life and ask him to have mercy on you mm. and forgive you all your sins and wash you clean. Put your hands on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I have heard this message. Mm. I want to worship you in a new way. I have come to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have mercy. Thank you, Lord. I confess my sins. Mm. Forgive me my sins. Mm. Wash me clean and sanctify me. Make me your home. Jesus. Give me the grace to worship you. My God. Amen. Father, Lord, I thank you for this. Your children that are surrendered your, their lives to you. Thank you Jesus. Have mercy on them and wash them. Sanctify them. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. Give them the understanding, fresh revelation in the knowledge of you, even in the place of worship. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus' name. And for we, the children of God that are everywhere right now, mm -hmm. wherever you are, can you just lift up your voice and begin to worship, Lord? Hallelujah. Begin to worship God. Father, glory. we worship you. We, we give you glory. We give you, we give you praise. We adore Hallelujah. you. We magnify your name. You. you are the lamb that sits upon Thank the throne. You, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Glory. You reign forever. Mm. Hallelujah. The mm. Lord God omnipotent reigned. The unchanging, changing God, the unbreakable God. Lord, we give you worship. We Thank give you worship. Lord. We give you worship. We mm. bow down our hearts. We bow down our crowns. Yes, we God. bow down our thoughts. We bow down our hearts. We lay them down. Even our will, we lay them down. In the place of worship, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory. I magnify your name. I lift you higher. I exalt you. I exalt you. You dwell in light unapproachable. Lord, I honor your name. I glorify you, Lord. There is none like you. No God like you. No voice like you. No word like yours. You are the strength of your people. Our refuge. Our leader. Our hope. Our inspiration. Our strength. Our anointing. Our voice. Our strength. Our word. We worship you, Lord. We give you worship. We give you worship. We give you worship. We bow before your throne. Lord, I bow before your throne and I honor your name. I reverence you, Lord. I reverence you, Lord, for you are mighty, for you are powerful, for you are great. You are ancient. You are great. You are ancient. Amashia Adonai Elohim. El Shaddai Tisikeno Raboban Elohim. Elohim, we worship you, Lord. I bow before you, Lord. I rest my case before you. I rest my heart before you. I rest my thoughts before you. I rest my mind before you. I rest everything I have before you in the place of worship tonight. Magi grabo shiri magalega ni la nabase ke yele gada basia malibrusi ka ya nabase ka ya malenda ma will o god and let the my desire before you in the place of worship Thank all your you. children all over the world Jesus. that are listening right now on positive radio father Hallelujah. we are listening we are worshiping you. you we are worshiping you we are worshiping you we are bowing before you, you will, thank you father we give you glory lord we give you glory lord rebrusi ka ya Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Ibro Ah, Makuri Maguni de mani de bilari ala rabo ye gade ye de maraba mani na de mani rabo si ara ra 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 rabo si ara ra ra ba gaya oh bukuri makaya la gadi boli gade la da da bo si gada ya le gade bo si da 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 bo si mani gre de ye le gade de ba si gaya la da 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 bo si ara ra ra mo ya 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 timre de 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 I worship you Lord kaboli de 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 ba si I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, I worship you, my Father, my God. I worship you, Lord, my Lord. My Savior, my Redeemer, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Father. I reverence you, Lord. Ah, Lord, I worship you, Lord. I know I'm not worthy to do so, but I worship you. Hallelujah. I stand in the righteousness of Christ tonight Jesus. and I worship Thank you. you I stand in the righteousness of Christ tonight Hallelujah. and I bow before you. I stand in the righteousness of Christ tonight and I stand before you, Holy Jesus. of Holies, in worship, Lord, in worship, Lord, in worship, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Oh, and today I have to go. Yes. I have to God go. Bless Thank you. God bless you. The bless us, the Lord bless the ministry, the Lord bless the Hallelujah. the radio station, Hallelujah. the Lord bless everyone Thank listening. You. Thank you, Father. God bless you. God's love is like a burning fire. Burning fire. Burning fire. Stop.
Your worship will cost you. We must put aside and lay aside everything to worship God. He was good in the beginning. He is still good in the end. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. In my soul, in Thank you, Pastor Debbie, for your consistent sacrifice. It's almost midnight and you stayed up. Let me say good afternoon to Uncle Alan Doyle. Good afternoon, Auntie Donna. Good afternoon. Uh, I just want to touch and agree with the woman of God before, you know, before Hallelujah. class, you know, after. Oh, my God, those Jesus. words are coming directly from God because, you know, sometimes we as believers, we tend to be so complacent and so comfortable thinking, yes. oh, all is well. Mm -hmm. We don't want to worship mm. the Lord. You understand me, Auntie Donna? And I, I tell you, this even those words just rip across hallelujah. the airway. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God, even now I'm just you know the anointing that comes hallelujah. from the throne of God, from that lady mm. voice, from that lady mouth this afternoon. I was like, God, this got to be you telling mm. us as believer. I like the way she pointed out it's for the believers because we get so comfortable oh, yeah. thinking all is well, nothing cannot, you know. God have us not knowing oh, that we God. need to worship God. Hallelujah. We need to worship him in spirit Everything. and in truth. Oh my God. Oh God, continue to use your servant Jesus. in a mighty way. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those words Hallelujah. this evening. Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything, should Hallelujah. Be. Everything about us should be about worshiping Hallelujah. God. I tell Everything. you, I should from, you know, Word, I tell, um, I think I believe I said it to Pastor. I said, Pastor Bennett, our worship is our weapon. Yes. Notice any time we get on our feet, even we start to, it, 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 it doesn't matter Hallelujah. where you find yourself or how you find yourself. Just, just, just start to worship, and you see how the here we are just seem to shift. My God. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. My Thank God. you. My God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sidoni, for calling in and participating in agreeance. And if you're out there and you you do not agree, or if you're in the middle, you know, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and most believers are really in the middle. We don't know if we should agree. We don't know if we should disagree. We stand right in the middle. But Later on in the show, you can call back and let's talk about worship a little later on in the show. God's love is like a burning fire deep down in my soul. God's love is like a burning fire. 
like a burning fire deep down God's love my soul it should be so deep that all we can think about is worship and if i know my mother-in-law she could have shout a hallelujah nobody shout a hallelujah like my mother-in-law you know right miss lena it's like a burning fire deep down in my soul did i say good afternoon to uncle alan and ladies and gentlemen she is here straight out of the uk I get chill when I see people respecting time, you know? <laughs> it's not about a person when they respect time. Time is the only thing we have no control of. And when we respect it, it says a lot about a person. She is here. <laughs> you just heard from Nigeria. You're going to hear from the UK. <laughs> Lord, I thank you and Lord, I worship you right now. And this is the best way to take in this woman of God. In love. God's love. God's love. Is agape love. Unconditional love. That should be in our soul. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take the music down. Let me take the music down for those of you. Um, I hope. I'm not sure if YouTube can see it. YouTube, give me a minute. I will ensure that you can see this beautiful woman of God that uh, we're about to um, introduce to you um, right now. Her name is Alizy. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. I have Alizia. Alizia Wells. Yeah. And um, she is my special guest this afternoon, invited guest. And I want to introduce to her, to you, to some of you who, um, let me see if I can do this. Hold oh, on woman a second. of God. Hold on a second. That, yeah, there we go. Hold on a second. Let me fix it so YouTube can see you as well. Let's see if we get YouTube up there. Yes. Everybody can see you now. <laughs> there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to um, introduce and welcome Alizia Wells the founder of restore um to greatness right amen amen greatness, greatness out of the uk first time here on 97.3 unity with love radio and also on positive radio 106.9 broadcasting out of the state of new york you guys will not see me because i want you to see her <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but you will hear me um first time here and she's here she's our invited guest and i'm excited to welcome you in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you so much i am um, first of all just give all praise and honor to god um i greet the holy spirit mm -hmm. in the name of jesus and i greet you yes. um, beautiful woman of god that you are i thank you mm -hmm. for the invitation to join you mm -hmm. um and your viewers, your um, those that support your ministry and the awesome work that you're doing. I greet you all this evening in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for having me. Amen. Amen. Well, it is indeed a pleasure. And um, why don't you tell the listeners, those who can see and hear you, a little bit about who you are. Excellent. Sure. Wonderful. So my name's Elysia Wells. Um, I, some of you may, may know me <laughs> from, um, from past experiences. 
Um, Are you afraid of your past? Do not be not at all. Not at all. Past yeah. experiences. Yeah. And um the Lord has um moved me on to pastures green. Uh -huh. And so I am here before you this evening. Mm -hmm. Um in the capacity of the Lord Jesus. Great. We are a women's online ministry. Yes. I don't run a church. I'm not a pastor. Um, I am someone who God has allowed to have a number of experiences along life's journey so far. And, and and they're not pleasant experiences, you know. So we have to 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 highlight the fact that some of these experiences yes. are pleasant. Exactly. Some have not been pleasant. Mm -hmm. Some have been very very um, upsetting. Some very disturbing. Um, but God has been faithful. I've also had some fantastic, amazing times along the journey. And you know, the Bible says that when we are converted. And I am converted, fully persuaded, hallelujah, um, of who I am, confident in the season that I find myself in and that I'm positioned for such a time as this. I'm now, um, he's called me to be able to share that and to strengthen sisters in the Lord, other queens in the Lord. Amen. And also we found a number of men <laughs> have also been extremely blessed and encouraged as well by what God is doing. So for that, I am very, very grateful. The ministry is growing. Um, it's not about me. It just means that it's all about God. And it means that we are reaching more women. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the women are interacting, sharing their life experiences. Um, and, I'm, and I'm grateful to be here to share some of mine with you this evening. Amen. 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 And I want to thank God for that because sharing of our experiences um, is, is one way that we know that we have been delivered. Yes. Yes. You know, when we can freely speak about the experiences, it means that we accept that the Lord has freed us from our past, whether they're comfortable or uncomfortable, and we can freely share them because we look at our experiences as not a, 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 a bad thing, but a blessing to bless Amen. others. Amen. Amen. So, so tell us a little bit about your background. You know, where were you born and your, 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 your lineage? Tell us a little bit about that. Certainly. So um, it's quite a, it's quite a, um, an extraordinary one, actually. So I'm <laughs> I'm born in was born in London in the UK. Yes. My father is from Grenada. Mm -hmm. He was born there and has been in the UK since he was a, a, a young boy of mm -hmm. about eleven. Mm -hmm. um, and his parents were Grenadian. I have a lot of family in Trinidad and Grenada also. Right. Um, my mother is mixed race of a mixed background mm -hmm. her mother is from barbados mm -hmm. and her late father was um a a white german man mm -hmm. um who happened to be raised in jamaica he's part of the his family a part of the original german settlers in jamaica and um we have a large family out there in jamaica um in clarendon Mm -hmm. And a place also called Bayliston. We've got a lot of family there as well. So um, that's just, yeah, just such a blessing. So most of my family in Jamaica are, are of that German background. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you are really the typical Jamaica mother out of many. <laughs> Mix up, mix up. <laughs> mix up, mix up. <laughs> well, it's good to know that. It is good to know yeah. that. And so so it's good to know now that we've set the foundation that we can really go into the little path one now and then. You know, and then we go, yeah, yeah, I grew up I grew up around it and had some fantastic experiences. My granddad, give you a quick joke, when I was yeah. out when I used to go out with him when I was a little girl, yeah. obviously he you know, he's this strapping um, six foot three white man. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and when we used to go on the bus and somebody used to irritate him, out out the accent would fly, the patois, and he'd be cussing every 
words under the sun <laughs> and people look around and say who said that <laughs> in this tall out there in Jamaica. yeah um so yeah many many beautiful memories and i've, I've been and um yeah it's just yeah fantastic so i'm, I'm grateful for who i am and, and my background and where i, I come from yeah. yeah so now do you have children let's talk about that i, I do indeed i've got a, daughter, a son who by god's grace will be 18 this right. year Mm -hmm. um, five foot eleven, strapping tall, and I have a daughter as well, a younger daughter. Um, so just the two children that keep me keep me very busy. Okay, great, great, great. And let's talk about um, ministry. You know, how did when did you um, realize that there was a calling upon your life? In ministry, yeah. So I think in two thousand and seven, I've grown up in church. Um, raised originally in Catholic Church as a, in the UK as a, um, a young child. My schooling mm -hmm. was um, of, of a Catholic um, teaching in mm -hmm. primary and secondary level. Right. And um, But in secondary level, I was still also frequenting a church, which was a Pentecostal church, mm -hmm. which I was um, introduced to by my father. Mm -hmm. And that has been the way ever since. I have stepped into the Methodist church just for, a, for about a year at one point, but I found my way that Pentecostal Church was where um, mm. where I needed to, where I, where I was most comfortable um, in the spirit, spiritual realm. Right. So um, in 2007, I just became very, there was an irritation in my spirit, an uneasiness that just wouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. And I found myself questioning God and saying to him, there's got to be something more for my life. Mm -hmm. I felt, I think the best way to describe it, like many of your viewers can probably relate to, mm -hmm. is that I felt like a ship without a sail. Oh. I felt like I was drifting and I was desperately saying to God, there has to be so much more of, of, of me here. Glory to and, God. And, you know, there was more to my life than I was a mum to, to, to my son at that point, um, working, good job good living that but it, it it didn't suffice there was something missing majorly missing mm -hmm. and I, one day I came from church and I was crying out to God on my knees at the foot of the beds really crying out to God and I was frustrated it almost felt like when you know when the Lord um placed the spirit upon Saul a spirit that would tor almost torment mm -hmm. him um I wouldn't say that it was in that sort of way, but I was my my, my I was being there was a torment, a severe wrestling going on on the inside of me, mm. and at which point I said, "There's got to be more," and I could just hear something in the spirit, you know, learn a tongue, learn a tongue, and I'm saying, "Well, what? Learn a tongue? What? I don't understand." And I opened the Bible, just opened it because I was kneeling at the foot of the bed. Mm -hmm. And to the right side, my eyes just cast onto the right side of the page. And there it was. I just saw this scripture, Isaiah 50 and 4. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, it says learn a tongue. And that was the first, I think, um, revelation from the Holy Spirit that there was there was going to be something, there was going to be a call in here. Mm -hmm. um, and I decided to speak to my leader at the time about it and to say, look, this is what's happened. This is how I receive this word. I was so excited, although I still didn't understand it. Yeah. Um, I didn't have the wisdom to, to, to come or the ability to comprehend what this word actually meant. Mm -hmm. But it was like God was just, just, just the best way to say it is he was, he was just dabbing my palate, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, he was just dabbing. He was just giving me enough to keep me thirsty. Right. Right. <laughs> Um, and I spoke to the leader and, you know, about a couple of years later, nothing wasn't happening with the word, but I noticed just a lot of distraction coming my way in different forms. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I became overly busy, um, just talking, not getting into anything with them, but just just talking to, to, to men who presented themselves, wanting to just talk what you could just call when you look back, just aimless nonsense conversation right. that was just of no relevance to anything, but just a means of distraction. Yes. Um, and that's my truth. Um, and, and time passed on 
um, I was I was still in the flesh to keep me thirsty. Right, right. <laughs> in the flesh, there wasn't. Um, I wasn't yielding to the Holy Spirit properly, mm. and this is why the word that word was not also bearing fruit. Mm-hmm. I started to dissect that word as time went on, and you know when the Bible speaks about the learned tongue, I come to realize that you know it's a tongue of experience. Mm. And he had to educate. I would like to say tonight to your viewers, and yes. this is my testimony, that the Lord has educated my tongue through pain and various trial and tribulation. But I've come to accept and, and rest in the knowledge that at every step of the way, there was, I was positioned for the purpose and it's funny, I've just finished a, a broadcast this evening mm-hmm. that was positioned for purpose. And it just so supports in line with what we're talking about tonight and my purpose. Amen. Um, I was so, positioned every step of the way, just 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 didn't know it. He was educating my tongue. He was qualifying me for what he wanted me to do. And, and I'm, I'm grateful to be positioned where I am now. Mm-hmm. Now, um, that that is awesome. That is awesome. And the, the interesting thing is that I was having a conversation with someone earlier, and basically it was the same thing mm-hmm. that we we were saying. But I want for those listeners who is out there who do not understand what you are saying, mm-hmm. I want you to give them an example of yes. the distraction because mm-hmm. we can thought and distraction is so wide. I want yes. to narrow some distraction that that, sure. that listeners can relate to that will come upon you once you have acknowledged that there is purpose upon your life. Amen. And, and as for you, you can you're willing to speak your truth. So can you yeah. narrow that for us? I, I can indeed. So distraction in the fuel woman, distraction in the form of men, mm-hmm. men that will come that will seem plausible, men that will come and even appear to be of God. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm keeping my truth. Yes. Um, and and they're not. Um, also, um, if you're a man, women that may come. So I'm, I'm giving you both sides here. Yes. Yeah. That may come and say that they're of God and they're not. Yes. I'm just going to tell it up to get to make it what we call even Stephen says even. <laughs> yes. Other distractions also for me were not managing my time effectively. Wow. And that has always been a, a, a quite a key distraction for me. Wow. When I say that, let me break it down. Thank it's you. very easy to get up in the morning. Okay. You know, this is not my situation now. I'm, I'm explaining to you how it was. Yeah. It's, and to get up in the morning, you know you're going to have your prayer time. You're just giving God some little bit of scrappy prayer time. Or before you know it, you get up, you check the time. The phone's going. The emails are coming. You're getting ready. You're, sh- you're, you're on the move. We're just too busy. And But the time you look around in the evening, the evening's gone. Mm-hmm. Something comes on the TV. You, you just want to sit down. And just gather yourself and sit there for a bit and breathe Mm -hmm. after work Mm -hmm. because it's been such a long day. Before you know it, you're exhausted, but but you're just too busy. So that distraction and not finding what I'm going to call intentional time spent with God. Mm. Intentional time where you say, do you know what? This is God's time. And if I'm going to honour him, And if I'm going to respect him, if I'm going to give him the regard that he is due, and even then, if I try, it's still not enough. Yes, God. But I'm going to be intentional about my respect and my honor and my worship time with him. And making that and and crossing and Xing out that time and saying, This is my Bible study time. Mm -hmm. I can't afford to go a day without reading his word. I can't afford to do that. Yes. I can't get through my day. I came to realize that that sort of distraction is a major, major problem. The, the time spent praying, sacrificial time, not wishy-washy prayer. You get in the bed at night and, oh, yes, and you're half asleep. Mm-hmm. It's time set apart for him. Jesus. Getting up a bit earlier in the morning, you just might be so tired, but you're still getting out of that bed you still, whether you're sitting on the bed, whether you're kneeling, you're having that time and saying, Lord, 
as tired as I feel in my body today, here I am. Because I understood that the distraction that I have today, this is my testimony. Mm -hmm. The distraction that I may have today mm -hmm. is the downfall where, where I may not get through tomorrow and be as successful as I need to be tomorrow. So I've had to learn to manage my time. Yeah. Poor time. So that's one thing. The second thing, poor time management is 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 a, is a major distraction. We have to be disciplined in in our time, especially the time that we are giving to God. Another distraction, and I'm just going to keep it real. And it, and and for so many, they're going to identify with this: the phone, social media. It is so easy. And yes, we're all a lot of us on social media and we are um, we, we're checking our posts and we're updating and we're posting and we're responding to notifications mm -hmm. and all these things. And, 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 and that's and that's all with, with what I'm going to call good intention. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what I've learned. Good intention ain't going to get you to heaven. <laughs> it's nothing but good intention. Go ahead and speak. Okay. It's nothing but good. That's what I like. It's just nothing but good intention. Mm -hmm. So once again, having some time where we say, do you know what? I'm putting that phone down, you know, um, just, to, just to, to, to give you a quick example. Um, when I want to have a rest, maybe on a Saturday oh. of evening, I, or uh, afternoon, if I've been out in the day, mm -hmm. I would say, right, I want to have a rest and just lay on the sofa for just an hour and close my eyes. Mm -hmm. However, my phone would still be on. And I can hear it pinging, or if I put it on vibrate, it's still vibrating. Right. It comes to getting to that place where you say, do you know what? I'm actually going to switch that phone off. Yes. I'm switching it off. Yes. Because this is God's time. And you, you, you start to identify the distraction. Mm -hmm. And it's about identifying the distraction early. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. If I was going to cross the road, I don't know if you've got like zebra, we have, we call them zebra crossings in the UK. Yeah. Okay. When you go to cross, um, if it's a zebra crossing, the car has to slow down to allow you to cross mm -hmm. at a zebra crossing, not a stoplight at a zebra crossing. Mm -hmm. They have to stop. Pedestrian has the right of way. Mm -hmm. If I'm walking along the pavement and I turn and I go to just step out and because I'm walking, I've got my head down. Mm -hmm. So I'm just walking. And then I, at the last minute, I look up that car, the distance from where I'm going to see that car, I'm going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in trouble now because that car's probably got pretty close to me, mm -hmm. closer than he should be. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I was distracted. My head was down, and therefore I was positioned in a in a, in, a, in a place now which 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 is compromising. Yes. Now, okay, if mm -hmm, if I am walking with my head up, mm -hmm. I am aware of my surroundings. Mm -hmm. I am walking in Holy Ghost revelation. Jesus. And I am very very aware in the spirit mm -hmm. of where I'm at, mm -hmm. okay? I will look up and I will see that car afar off. Yes. I will see that because I'm focused now, mm -hmm. because I'm managing how I am stepping, I'm managing my approach now. I'm in a place now of power, mm -hmm. okay? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not operating off the back foot now. I'm mm -hmm. proactive rather than reactive. Mm -hmm. and, and it's the same way when it comes to distraction. We have to be able to identify them. So this is why I'm calling them out. So yeah. you've got people of the opposite sex, major, major, major distraction. Intentional time spent with God. Time, mm -hmm. So when you're, you're, you're idle, mm -hmm. when you are idle, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say the devil will make work for idle hands. Amen. And if you're idle and you have not got nothing constructive doing with your life or with yourself, he will give you something to do. And then you will find that your idle hands have become busy. Your idle um, self has become just complacent. Mm -hmm. And therefore you are ineffective. Amen. 
So this is another way when we talk about distractions. I also want to talk about another distraction, which sometimes people don't want to talk about. Managing your circle of people that are around you. Oh, Jesus. I had to, some time ago, just cut intentional time spent with God. Away. I had to cut and clear. I had to block and unfriend where necessary. I had to make some changes mm -hmm. because it's important that we understand that the spiritual atmosphere around us mm -hmm. at times needs cleansing. Yes. Okay. And that can be a distraction. Gossiping, people that are gossipers, the backbiters, the people that come to just chat and talk nonsense about things that is not edifying to God, that has to go. That is a distraction. That's a distraction. My God. Having the wrong circle of people around you. Yes. It's a distraction. Mm. And sometimes that can be bittersweet because when you're friends with people or they're just associates, I'm very careful how I use the word friends. Very Amen. Loosely. Amen. Like what? Yeah. I'm okay. going to use the word friendship very, very loosely. There's associates Don't use and them. there's friends and they, and they are very, very different. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So your that, that circle needs to be managed. It needs to be managed. Another distress of managing your circle. Mm -hmm. the, and that also I'm going to drop in there as well, the spiritual vampires. Oh, Jesus. Because you can have people around you Mm -hmm. That will just drain the life out of you slowly. Mm -hmm. The energy is negative. Mm -hmm. So it's draining. Be managed. You, you, you have, it's very, they're, they're, it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. The sort of people where you finish speaking to them and you feel like you've got a ton of bricks on your shoulders because it's draining. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. Once again, identifying the distractions. Mm -hmm. Is this someone that God's put around you mm -hmm. in your midst? Or is this someone sent from the devil to come and drain you, mm -hmm. wear you down and become a distraction to distract you and or wear you down from an, and from an energy perspective? And if your energy is worn down, everything else is worn down. Right. So just some key distractions right there. Really, 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 really important. My God, my God. So ladies and gentlemen, you have heard it. You have heard her um, speaking about um, the distractions. Some of you can identify with these, with what she is saying. I want to give her a chance to take a break and um, and just take a breather, if you may. And we will come back again with more from this beautiful woman of God straight out of the UK. So take a breather, a sip of water if you may, and we will come back. Well, I want you all to listen. We ain't got a lot of time. But with a little time we have, let me praise God. Let me praise then we will talk about some more stuff. Some more stuff. And all the other stuff. Can you relate? Can you relate? Can you relate? Remember, at the towards the end of the show, I will give you a chance to participate and 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 relate to to what is being said. I too had to do some spurging. I am not afraid to block people. I really must tell you that. Once the persons upset my spiritual energy, I have no problem in protecting them by blocking them i'm not afraid to say it sister my block list very long oh, yeah. <laughs> my block list very long sometimes it's a community i block <laughs> i am not afraid to say that because my worshiping with god must remain at a level where i don't care who you be i am going to not cause you to distract me from where the lord wants to take me So don't be afraid, people of God, if you want to listen to me. <laughs> Sometimes it's family. You better get rid of them. Come now. 
sometimes it's your job, you need to block your job. Yes. Oh, yes. You can relate, can you? That's why we exist right here on 97.3 Unity with Love Radio and 106.9 Positive Radio.com and Positive Radio. Some people would have it of us to think that is wrong to block people or, you know, no. Me, mm, I'm not going to make you make my face make up. No. Mm, mm. I'm not going to let anyone interrupt somebody's calling. Hold on a second. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello. How are you? How are you, my auntie? Good night, my niece. How are you? I am here listening to you and searching for you and can't find it on the road, you know. I wonder which part you're there. What do you mean? I can't find you. What do you mean? You can't find your part of book. Let me tag you. Let me tag you. Mm-hmm. Let me tag Powerful you. Powerful words. Powerful words from that lady. Good evening to me. She's she, um, she, she, she not gone. I'm going to tag both of them. <laughs> I'm going to tag oh, you two pairs because you want to see her, don't it? I no, see. I see her during the week, you know, I saw mm-hmm. her before she, I saw her, she wanted to have a slight resemption of Minister Tanisha, I saw her. Right, yes, so all I of them, her. I just tag you. I hear it, my love, and but can I you love relate her, I love to what she's work. saying, can you relate yes. to what she's saying? Yes, because to what she's saying, and, then, and as I hear As a matter of fact, you know, she's hearing, you want to say hello, so she, because she can hear. Uh, yes, good evening, my love, how are you? Oh, good evening to you. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, Great to see your voice. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, Auntie Dana. Mm-hmm. We are children of God mm-hmm. and we're called by God. Yes. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you see God move some people out of our life, mm-hmm. we're not saying that now, we're not going to go back and pick them up. Amen. Amen. You know, time, at times when people disrespect you, Auntie Dana, mm-hmm. disrespect you, you don't have them in your heart, Mm-mm. now nothing, but just leave them alone. So right. So leave right. them alone. That's me, Minister Ben. Amen. If you disrespect me one time, you'll never get the opportunity to disrespect Amen. me the second time. And I don't have you in my heart, but I leave you alone. I stay far from you. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're going to talk about it a little later after the show. I want to finish up with her. And after that, we'll have the conversation where we talk about everything that takes place. Thank you very much. I tag you so you can be a part of it. All right? I'm going to look back right now. Yes, I tag you you both of it. Dr. Benny, First Lady Benny, everybody, good evening. All right, my Thank you, my sister. Well, I want you all to listen. I, you know, I just want to worship God right now. And I want to thank God for the time that, you know, this has happened. Because some of you don't know that this woman is part of Positive Radio 106.9 before it even come to, to, to be. And this lady is part. But we don't talk everything. Right, 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 right Sister Wells? Amen. <laughs> we learn, we learn to, to, to let the, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord lead us. So Amen. we will continue. So you have been around the ringer. You have been um, through all of what most of us have gone through. So we can relate to each other. Yes. Um, he found us. Lilith Brown Benz found us. Minister Benz found us. Sarah, good afternoon. Badu, follow, welcome. And, you know, so one thing I have known is that God has prepared you for this moment for res- the, the restore to greatness, right? Amen. Amen. Let's, let, let's speak about the transition, how he has equipped you, how he has prepared you so that you can lead now a generation of women through the pain, through the embarrassment, through mm-hmm. some, some some horrible situation. You know, talk to us about that now. So um, I have experienced a number of things. I have experienced um, adultery. Mm. I can speak to women about being somebody who gave all and not yet what you thought you were giving into was actually betrayed. Mm. They do so that you can go ahead. Sorry about that. That's all right. So I can speak to women about that. Mm -hmm. Some women can stay and a number of believers, women, will stay because marriage is honorable before God and others will will go. Yes. I am 
um, a, a woman who um, years ago was had a, had a child outside of wedlock. Mm-hmm. Um, I can speak to women about that. I can speak to women about the type of response from various groups of people within the church. Mm. Some that were supportive, mm-hmm. some that had a lot to say, some that sniggered, mm-hmm. some that would backbite as if they had never sinned before. Mm-hmm. And I can talk about that. I can talk to women about abuse as a child. Mm-hmm. I was um, not f- um, abused in the sense when I say fully sexually abused, mm-hmm. but as a child, I was touched by someone inappropriately. Mm-hmm. So I can talk to a woman who's dealing with that still mm-hmm. as an adult. Mm-hmm. And I can talk to them about how the, the coping mechanisms that I implemented and actually had almost put to the back of my head was a coping mechanism. It was an automatic process, mm-hmm. but not yet at 17 in a, in a discussion, in a family discussion. Mm-hmm. It wasn't by a family member, by the way. It was a fa- family friend, son, right. um, that I remembered it all of a sudden and and how I was able to navigate through those emotions. I can have that discussion yes. with somebody. And unfortunately, um, in the women's ministry, it is something that we are hearing a lot about. Mm-hmm. And a number of women, especially in the Caribbean and, and of um, an Afro and African backgrounds as well, where these things have been very prevalent and there seems to be it seems to have been a culture of, you know, keep quiet and don't talk about it. Um, and 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 for many women, they're still dealing with those horrors. I can talk to you about abuse, domestic abuse. Mm-hmm. Um, it's something that I have experienced um, in the most horrendous ways, and out of integrity. Yes. And um, and timing that God would permit, mm-hmm. I it is something that I have not shared in detail. Mm-hmm. But I walked away from um, a, a, a marriage because of it. That's yes. my truth. Yes, and I made peace with my pieces, mm-hmm. and I put it before God. And I and I I implemented where forgiveness needed to be needed to be implemented Mm -hmm. in order to for me to experience true liberation and to be able to move forward in my life and to be where I am today. And that is my God given truth. Okay, so I want you to break down. You have spoke about several um, of your truth and uh, several yeah. layers. And now I know why you are equipped. <laughs> and, you know, some of us are walking around with so much hurt and pain from different areas and section and don't even mm-hmm. realize mm-hmm. that God is preparing them for greatness. Amen. So I want you, because this is a quote unquote religious church platform yes i want you to speak about because we our intention is Mm -hmm. win souls i want to take you back to the church and how the church have dealt with you um because that is one of the biggest thing that is going around now we're Mm -hmm. talking about church hurt um people would not don't want to go to church because of how they've been hurt you know Mm -hmm. earlier on we heard pastor debbie says that you know you go to church to worship but we cannot um, avoid the fact or ignore the fact that people have been hurt as well. Mm-hmm. So I want mm-hmm. you to talk a, a little bit about how you have um, your defense mechanism or your coping mechanism, if you may, while you were in the church and was going through all of these pieces. Certainly. So I think it's important that we establish, first of all, that when we make when I make reference to the church, I'm talking about people as a as a as a group yes yeah the church mm-hmm. not a specific place although when i had my 
daughter many years ago yes. um i was in a a a place of worship at the time mm-hmm. and actually in ministry singing i like to sing by the way so i was singing as well mm-hmm. um and after i had her i did return to singing and now the lord would have me to do something else <laughs> but um at that time, like I said, what I experienced from people, let me break it down. Yes. It was, um, I was already at that point when I was expecting, I remember saying to my mom, what am I going to do? You know, I've, I've got myself in this situation. And I did feel so bad um, that I, I was I had found myself in this situation because I know what was expected of me by God. But still... I found myself falling real short. I'm not the first and I won't be, and I wasn't the last. However, when you understand that what is of, is expected of you and you fall short, there is a conviction that takes place. I remember going and sitting in church after I was expecting mm-hmm. and I was so, do you know, I couldn't sit downstairs. I sat upstairs in the church Wow. And I couldn't sit that my feet would not allow me to step into that downstairs area of the church. I went upstairs away from people. Well, a couple of people up there. And I sat there and I felt so isolated. I felt um, rejected. I felt the look of rejection. Mm. I felt um, because I had stepped down from my choir at the time for a while until I had my daughter. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt I felt the eyes, I felt the the, 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 the whisper, not to the naked ear, but it was there. Mm-hmm. I felt, and I was so convicted in my spirit and my soul about where I had found myself. My God. I got up halfway through the service and I left. Mm. That's my truth. And then I got home and I cried my eyes out. Jesus. I really, Very really rejected. I, that's my job. I sobbed my heart out to God and I cried and I cried and I cried. And I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus. Have mercy. I have fallen. Oh. Have mercy on me. And I said, um, and then I understood that, you know, I was expecting. And then when I cried out to God, mm-hmm. there was the most beautiful peace. Mm. that came over me oh glory to god the following sunday i put on my clothes Mm -hmm. shoulders back Mm -hmm. and i stepped in Mm -hmm. and i sat downstairs and i praised and i worshipped glory i praised and i worshipped because i understood that he is merciful Mm. And because I was convicted, the Holy Spirit convicted me in my spirit Hallelujah. about where I had gone wrong. Mm-hmm. You see, let me tell, let me just testify for a minute. Go ahead, go ahead. When you have gone wrong and you have done wrong, mm-hmm. you have to be adult enough. Mm-hmm. And if the Holy Spirit is on the inside of you, Jesus, and you say that you walk in with, don't let me, oh, don't let me Hallelujah. start now. Go ahead. The Holy Spirit is on the inside of you. Yes. There's a lot of people out there claiming with God, they jump around, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, this, God, that, and then God, and God, and then nothing. When the Holy Spirit is on the inside Mm. and he is at work. Yes. And like me at the time, you're fully surrendered. I was surrendered. I yielded to his spirit Mm. that day at the foot of the bed. I wept like David. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus. And when you yield to that in that way, when you yield to the spirit of God, something happens on the inside. Something very beautiful happens. He comes and he gives you the peace that passes all understanding. And then he gives you the confidence because then, therefore now, I know where my trust is. Mm Mm-hmm. I know that I can rely. I know that my, 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 my I can, it's, it's a sure thing. Mm-hmm. I can put my trust in him. And then he came on the inside and he convicted me. Yes. And I repented before God. Okay. And then he restored me. My God. And I was able to step in and worship him in spirit. What? And in truth. 
Yes, Let me tell yeah. you why it was not just in spirit, but in truth as well, because I had acknowledged my failing. Yes. You can't say that you want restoration mm-hmm. and you want forgiveness from God and you, you, you're just going on your own merry way when you won't admit that you've gone wrong. Glory to God. You can't, you, you can't, you're, you're kidding yourself. And you and you think you're fooling God? Come but on, you no. will not be mocked. My God. Now, 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 moving on to the next part now of what you asked me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about not the the people in the church there now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about the people that I've come to know in recent years. Yes. Let me testify just a little bit. Amen. Now, what I've come to realize is. There was a point in my life that I was not operating in clear discernment. Mm-hmm. When you're not operating in clear discernment, mm-hmm. well, well, let me actually let me back up. Yes. You, 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 you've heard from God mm-hmm. on a matter, this but you didn't yes. give God the time mm-hmm. to give you the rest of the revelation. Mm-hmm. When you don't allow God to give you the rest of the revelation. Mm-hmm. You will move into a direction where he never even wanted you to go in. Jesus. But it's important to remember that even when you step there, he's a God. He's so strategic, mm-hmm. so strategic, he'll still position you for the purpose. My God. And what I've come to realize, um, Sister Donna, is that many people, they don't. They, they lack discernment. Mm-hmm. The reason I say that is because when you walk in discernment, mm-hmm. you will look and you will know who is who. <laughs> you will look and the Spirit of God will say to you, not that one, you know, that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it, it wasn't that one, it's that one. Mm-hmm. The Spirit of God will reveal to you mm-hmm. But what I've noticed about the church now in mm. recent times, some mm-hmm. of some, is that they're so caught up with crowd, <laughs> crowd following. We used to call them back in the day, the groupies. Mm-hmm. They're part of the crowd, part of the clan. Mm. One jumps on the bandwagon. The mm. others all think, yes, yes, it's so. They're called flying monkeys. Oh, Lord. And they're all swinging together mm-hmm. and one can't even lead the others. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying to you is, it's, it, this is how they behave. Mm-hmm. And I've experienced it firsthand mm. by people who lack discernment. Mm-hmm. And I say this carefully and gingerly. Mm-hmm. When the spirit of God starts to reveal people will question their lack of discernment. Mm -hmm. They will question it. Bless her Holy Ghost. They will will question and say, forgive me, Lord, because I judged wrong. I didn't see clearly. Mm -hmm. So my coping mechanism now, in line with how I've responded, Be still and know that I'm God. Hey, Jesus. He said, be still and know that I'm God. Holy Ghost. He said he's the defender of the weak. Hallelujah. Glory. He said he's the defender of the weak. He said, you only need to be still. Hallelujah. He said to the children of Israel, be still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's what Moses said, be still. Hallelujah. And see the salvation of the Lord. Yes. I want to tell someone that when you start to just heed and take instruction from God and hear him. Hallelujah. When you're obedient, when he tells you, when people are saying this, posting all kind of lies and deception and rubbish and foolishness and people believe it, you just sit there and shake your head and say, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. And a part of you, you see the flesh. Mm -hmm. The flesh wants to rise up, you know. Mm -hmm. But I learned, 
I learned the coping mm-hmm. mechanism and the coping mechanism is to heed to the spirit. Mm-hmm. And the Lord just says, be still. Yes, God. When you learn how to be still and to operate with integrity. Jesus. There you go. The Lord will favor you beyond reason. When you are still, he will favor you. My God. He will, oh, he God. Says, yes. only because he hears and he answers prayers. The Bible says the prayers of the righteous. Yes. They avail of much. And so I testify yes. that he's a God who hears and he answers prayer. Yes. And he did it for me because yes. my coping mechanism, my defense mechanism, mm-hmm. it wasn't to go in with an Uzi with a big rifle mm-hmm. and start firing shots back. Oh, no. My God. It was to hold my peace. Yes. And to know that the God that I pray to, if I just operate in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Huh, he will do the rest. He says in his word, he teaches, David said, he teaches my hands to war. Yes. He will tell you where to go. This is what you need to do. This is the way walking it. Hallelujah. People come and tell you, people love to chat. Oh, I saw this. I saw that. I said, I said I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. Don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. Don't come to me with gossip. I'm not interested. Don't let listen. And people that know me, they would not. Don't come to me with gossip because I will send you on your way with the gossip. That's right. I am about God's business. Yes. My coping mechanism is to yield to the spirit of God. My God. That my flesh would decrease and his power, his strength, his spirit on the inside of me. Mm hmm will increase because I've been, according to Acts 1 and 8, I've been given the power. Mm -hmm. And I have the Holy Ghost down on the inside of me. Yes. And because he has educated my tongue with pain, Mm -hmm. because he's educated my tongue, he's qualified me Mm. for this time, such a time as this. He has taught me how to walk in his statutes. And when the flesh wanted to respond, mm-hmm. when the flesh wanted to respond, yes, the spirit of God said, no, mm-hmm. hold yes. your peace. Mm-hmm. And silence is a weapon. <laughs> Sometimes people, they chat, they chat, and those who talk the loudest, be very careful. Silence, mm-hmm. God said, be still. And we have to understand what the be still means. Yes. Because people get confused and think, oh, no, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Be still. still. That means still your tongue. Mm-hmm. Still your fingertips. Yes. When you see and you hear, you don't need to post. You don't need to talk. Still mm-hmm. your mouth. Still your tongue. Go into the secret place of the most high. Come on now, because a Go wise man keepeth a yes, still tongue. tongue. Yes. Keep up a still tongue. Yes. And what I've can testify tonight from the city of my soul. Yes. God will honor you. He will favor you. And he hears and he answers prayer. Jesus. We have to be willing to yield and fully surrender because God, he will not be mocked. My God, my God. I advise anyone tonight, Mm -hmm. align, and if you haven't already, go back and revisit your, your, your coping mechanisms. Yes. How do you respond through trial, tribulation, and storm. Yes. Do you? Are you like the disciples? Oh, we're going to drown. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to drown. Mm-hmm. He's sleeping. The master's sleeping. And it's all panic and, and kerfuffle. Mm-hmm. Or are you just going to just be still? My God. And know that he is God. Yes. And although you may be on the boat mm-hmm. and the storm is raging, mm-hmm. he who is Mm-hmm. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, mm-hmm. 
that we should we should acknowledge him in all of our ways. Mm -hmm. So even when you're on the boat and the storm's raging, acknowledge him. Yes. Acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. Lean not on your own understanding. Glory to God. He will see you to the other side. Jesus. He will direct your mm -hmm. path to the other side. And the word to direct he will move you from point A to point B without intervention. He will move you and you will get to the other side. And when you get to the other side, you will find that you have now been qualified. Your tongue, you now have the tongue of the learned. A tongue which has been educated yes. by experience. Yes. Hallelujah. According to Isaiah 50 and 4. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. God is faithful. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Bless our mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. I'm going to take another break. Okay. And several times you have said this. You have reminded us that mm. God answers prayer he does if you ever feeling down and like you have nowhere to go if you feel it like an outcast as your problems let me see your pleasant good afternoon to Della Gordon, Don Thomas, Sidney Roberts. Good afternoon to you. Welcome 97.3 Unity with Love Radio, Dr. Apostle Michael Paul Bennett and Lady Renee Bennett. My special guest, it's midnight almost where she is. But this is what I love about the people that God is sending to me. Sacrifice. They sacrifice their time to come across this pond and minister unto our soul to encourage us that there is hope and for us to hold on. My special and honored guest is none other than Minister Alizia Wells out of the UK, founder of Restore to Greatness Ministry. So we know you're broken, but look what brokenness looks like. Brokenness looks like a smile. <laughs> hey, listen to me, Miss Say. Brokenness is a smile. If somebody said them broken and they're not smiling, them not broke up enough. Them need to go back go get broke up because brokenness looks like a smile. Yes, man. And God answers he sees Natalie Moo Young out of Connecticut. Althea Johnson. Bless up on herself. Bless up on herself. Mama Shirley, good afternoon to you. Oh Lord Jesus, Auntie, yes, man, brokenness is smile. If you see people walking around with a frown, them not them not broke yet. Tell them figure broke. Tell them figure get broke up and come back again. When you see them a smile, they broke up. <laughs> because from what you have been through, woman of God, and you're still having the smile, I yeah. know, I know I am in good company. Amen. So let me take that from the top once again because we have another half an hour to go. Comments of tailored care. And this is how I love the conversation when they are flowing. Sister Vivian Tapper, big up yourself. I think I saw Sister Veronica Martin here as well. And if you came on while the conversation was going on, I would appreciate if you would just let me acknowledge you, give me the, 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 the opportunity to acknowledge you. I'm going to take this one back from the top. Andrea Browning, good afternoon to you because let me tell you something in order when we are broken we can only go to God in prayer and I want to encourage someone this afternoon that God really answers prayer yes 
Natalie Mo Youngs to, to tell you that. I, tell her I love her, please. Oh, love you too. <laughs> We're blessing souls. Well, Natalie Mo Young, you know the number to call and speak to the beautiful founder. Yes, you can call her. Yes. The telephone number is 718-569-6622. And this lady have a wealth of information as it regards to coping mechanism, tools in which she has... Um, uh, the Lord has given her to overcome the struggles. And uh, you are right on target. I can, I mean, you are so on target. It's, it's just like I'm listening to myself, you know. To, you, and if you want to know how, you can feel free to call me at 718-569-6622. Call me. If you have a question for the minister, you can call her and we'll ask the question so that you can cope with some of the struggles yes. that we're going through. Amen. If you find yourself in the middle somewhere and you don't know if you should go forward or backward, call. Maybe she can, can le give you one of the tools that she has used and this is who i am as well you know i just tell people you know be still watch god do it watch god just watch what god is gonna fight this battle for you you don't have to do nothing if you don't think you can do it say god you go ahead and take care of the problem i'm sitting right here and and floating on a nice pool you understand and <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to learn to trust God that much. So yeah. let me play the song once again, and we will continue at the top of the hours. Remember, the telephone number is 718-569-6622. If you ever feel in that and, like you have no words. and this portion of the interview is brought to you by none other than Taylor Care. All right, let's we get in a call. Good afternoon and welcome to Positive Praise with Auntie Donna and Minister Wells out of the UK. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, my beautiful. And good afternoon, Miss England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hello. Yes, can you hear her? No. You're not able to hear her? I, I can hear no. her. Well, she can, she can hear you. Go ahead, Natalie. Go ahead and okay. ask the question. It was my pleasure meeting you in Port St. Lucie. Oh. A woman of God, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I listen to her sometimes on a show, and I've learned so much. But today, I hear a testimony. And I can relate on majority of the stuff that she's saying. Yes. And I want to thank her for her kind words um, to share. Um, share her testimony. The willingness, the willingness to, to, to share. In, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To encourage us. Yes. Because you never know what part a person life is in and need this word for me i talk for myself mm -hmm. i just want to tell her thanks mm -hmm. for coming on mm -hmm. and just speaking to us my god and it's encouraging i'm just like right now i'm just like in emotion oh, like wow. you know you want to cry but you know you you know just, and i'm telling you woman of god stay strong my god and you know, be encouraged, yes. and may the peace of God cover you, mm -hmm. you know, throughout mm -hmm. life's journey. Because He's not through with us yet; He's not through with you yet. My God. And I just want to say that from the bottom of my heart, you know, beautiful woman of God, and you know, I I I I want to take some of your wisdom yes and apply it to my life amen so <laughs> amen. that's what i want to say you did well you did so well <laughs> natalie mo young you did so well wow. and you know and this is why we exist we exist to share what the lord has brought us out of so we yeah. can encourage others that they are not alone in their situation mm -hmm. 
and they can smile yes, even the <laughs> they, <laughs> they can smile you know yes. Uh, you know, I, I, I've heard a story recently where people said they're smiling, but they're not happy. How mm -hmm. dare you judge somebody? You don't, don't know, know the cost of inside. my smile. <laughs> you don't Hallelujah. know why I <laughs> smile. Amen. I choose to smile because I know yeah. that my God will deliver. Hey, Jesus. I know oh, yeah, yeah. God, oh, God, God will come God, through. God. So hey. my smile hey. is my worship. My Jesus. smile is my worship. Oh. Oh, dear, you say they smile, they cover No. So when you see this woman smile, it's because she she chose to smile. And that's where a frown on her face. She chooses to smile. Amen. And she has a beautiful smile. I'm not Smile. Yes, always at my earth. So if you can walk away with anything, learn how to smile. In spite of what you're going through, Amen. never give the enemy the weapon of a frown because Learn the enemy will use you. that weapon and go. Mm. Listen to me, just let yes, me behave God. myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Have a good Hallelujah. Day. God bless you. God bless you. God All bless right. you. Mm -hmm. Glory. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. We thank you, mighty God. You wow. see, I know a smile when I see a smile. I know a smile because I have smiled through some pain. I grinned through some of my pains. And I said, eh, me know the God when me trust him, I'm gonna come through. Me just a wait. So let me go and smile yeah. and watch him do the fight here for me. Because mm -hmm. me now take up no weapons and not going right. to fight. I'm gonna use what he has given me, which is the peace of his of God. And That's I'm what he says i'm gonna be still and watch him fight all the battles you know so woman of god uh, uh i'm loving it so ladies and, and gentlemen and, and you know and you know and you know just want to say to add to what you said you know it builds character sure and one of the things you know that we we as believers are the, the holy spirit is ever wanting us to do is to operate in the fruits of the spirit yes and at the end of the day these fruits mm -hmm. should be well on display and they should be sweet. Yes. They should not be sour. Hey. Yeah. And a lot of people are walking around saying that they're, they're, they're walking around in, in the spirit and it, and it is fruits <laughs> of the spirit. And all that is on display is sour. How it is. It's sour. There's mm. nothing sweet about it. Mm -mm. This is why we have to really seek God for true discernment. Amen. Because sometimes we're in crowds, we're in associates, we're in, we're connected to people via people. And when push comes, I'm going to say it. Yes. I didn't, I didn't want to say it. But, <laughs> oh, no, but you know something, let me tell you something, Minister Well, Let me stop you right there. <laughs> Listen, you are here on Positive Radio. Um, yes. We help people around here with truth. If you have to say it, you say it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say it. People who I thought. Mm hmm who have been around me, they may be connected to someone else. Mm -hmm. People who I thought mm -hmm. were whew, people of, of, of God. Yes. People that had the Holy Spirit on the inside of them. Yes. People that when push come to shove, their, their, their conduct wouldn't be what I've seen it to be. My God. But when push come to shove, I mean, let me tell you, there's two times when you get to see who people are, you know. <laughs> when you are in the trial and tribulation and you're hurting. Mm -hmm. And also when you are having celebration. Yes. You put up a po you see a post on Facebook about people getting married or a post about something. Everybody swarms like a hunt a bees to honey. Hallelujah. And then when now something happens mm -hmm. or there's something you see, something maybe negative has happened, mm -hmm. you also see the same bees. Yes. But I wouldn't call them bees to honey. I call them flies to muck. Mm -hmm. It's the complete opposite. Yes. And this is why I'm saying we need to, re these times, it, it showed the Holy Spirit will reveal. Let me just go there. 
in order for the Holy Spirit to take you forward, mm -hmm. he has to show you who's who, you know. Absolutely. He has to reveal to you who is who. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes where God wants to take you, you can't you can't go with certain people. And sometimes you have to leave an entire community. You have to leave them where they, they are. are. And I'm going to say it now. I make no apology. Glory to God. For walking away from anything that disturbed my peace. <laughs> I make no apology for protecting my peace. There you go. I make no apology for protecting my health, mm -hmm. my physical well-being, my emotional well-being, my mental well-being, my journey and my faith in God. I will not compromise ever again. I will not. It's, it's, it's under when you know who you are in God. When you have an encounter with the Holy Spirit, some of us think that we're just living a life and we think, oh, yeah, well, that's where God wants me to be. And oh, that's what God wants. Don't listen. No. Sometimes that is the enemy's deception and his lies. Don't listen. But when God, you have an encounter and the Holy Spirit starts to reveal to you, their, their fruits are sour. Mm -hmm. It's time to get moving. And sometimes... Get to get moving is difficult. Yes. Because people, circumstance, you don't want to let God down sometimes. You want to make sure you're doing the right thing. Yes. And God is just saying, go back to Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know. What did my what did I tell you in the words? For I know. I told you that my what did he say? My my my, my plans are for good and not for evil. Yes. My thoughts towards you, good. they are good. Mm -hmm. If you look up the word good, what does it mean? It feels like that it's good. Sweet. My thoughts towards you, God was good. saying to me, Alicia, my thoughts towards you are good. Yes. It's okay to go. Mm -hmm. It's okay. My thoughts towards you are good. Trust me. Behold, I'm going to do a new thing. thing. Shall you not know it now? Shall you not know it? It's Sorry. okay. And when you get the okay from God, it's time to move. Yes, God. And I thank God. I thank him. Hallelujah. Because yes. everyone's got an opinion. It's like it's like a rear, a behind. Yes. Some Everybody's got one. Yes. And they've all got something to say. Glory to God. I'll come and walk my shoes and then you come and tell me if, if, if you should stay. Come and just walk in the shoes. Yes. For a week. Yes. And then you tell me what God is saying. My God. My God. You talked about the smile. Mm -hmm. There's many reasons why I, sm I smile. <laughs> I'm smiling again now when I say it. Yes. There's many reasons why I smile. Yes. I smile because the joy of, of the, the Lord, Lord make you samson -y. <laughs> I smile because he is my strong deliverer. Yes. I smile because I, as Sister Shirley said in the comments, I ran for my life, <laughs> literally. Yes. I I I I smile because when I when when God was when he was when he was ministering to me when he could see what I was dealing with on the inside when he could see what I was dealing with what I was facing my experience mm. he was saying this is not for you this is not of me good for you and that's why I smile I feel like the children of Israel. Hallelujah. When they came through, that's been my word to God for, for the last how long. When I come through yes, God. on a dry land. Yes, God. And I said to God, when you part that Red Sea, mm -hmm. when I cross over on a dry land, mm -hmm. I say, hey. When I come through on a dry land, bless her Holy Ghost. Close up the sea behind me. Yes, God. Pharaoh and his army, they got to go. Yes, God. Pharaoh and his army, I will see no more. more. They got to go. 
glory to God. He is a deliverer and he will and he will complete that which he started. My God. Oh, glory to God. I smile. Hey. Because I come through on a dry land. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And all through it, he's been using me. I had somebody come to me. And you know what they said to me last week? You know what they said to me? What did they say? You shouldn't be doing ministry. Ha! You shouldn't be... <laughs> You shouldn't be doing ministry. That's what they said to me last year. Huh. You shouldn't be doing ministry. And I said, did God tell you that? <laughs> oh, dear. I can't believe this. You shouldn't be doing ministry. And they had their little silly reasons, which were on an entity, because who was speaking, they, they were an entity to me. Mm -hmm. So it, it was of no value. I didn't need them to validate me. <laughs> Amen. And I said to myself, I went back and I, I spoke to God and I said, look at this. This is why people must have discernment. Go ahead, woman of God, go ahead. And they must know who is victim. They must know. They must know who is of truth and who is of the enemy they must know before they speak and god my life has been flourishing sis god has been doing the most beautiful things he has taught me the most beautiful things. He's taught me how to forgive, how to lean on him like never before. He's taught me not to harbor hatred or any ill feelings in life. He's taught me well. And e I want to encourage someone tonight that even on your journey, even on your journey. Yes. Even while you're being restored. My God. God is using you mightily. Jesus. Because the tongue of the learned. Oh, glory to God. That learned tongue. That tongue of, of, of education, of experience. Oh, glory. Can only be told by you who have experienced it, it. So that you have been qualified. Mm -hmm. you ha it, 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 God is so faithful. Amen. So faithful. Mm. And that took me back to the coping mechanism. Yes. Because they just got blocked the same day. <laughs> You understand? I thought I was bad, but you look no, like No, I, I, you know what? I've learned to yeah. protect my peace from mm -hmm. foolishness. Yes. And I've learned to make peace with my pieces. Mm -hmm. my the God. pieces that were broken, mm -hmm. I've, I have made peace with mm -hmm. them. You might. And still on a journey, yeah. not of making peace with the pieces, but still on a journey as to how God will use that which I have experienced, mm. like for his glory. Oh. You remember when he said to Pharaoh, to, to, to Moses? Yes. He said to him, I've hardened Pharaoh's heart. Mm -hmm. And he, the reason that he did that was that he would gain the what? The glory. Yes. Moses had to have the Red Sea experience. So he, that God would have the glory. Yes. So for those going through stuff, experiencing some trials, some tribulations, understand tonight okay. from my testimony, the Bible says, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Understand from my testimony. Hallelujah. That it's so important 
that when you are converted and you come out on the other side, mm -hmm. strengthen thy brethren. Amen. Because somebody out there, be it a believer who is backsliding slowly and yeah. they're on a slippery slope, mm -hmm. or be it an unbeliever who's never even heard of Jesus. My God. They need to hear. I'm not saying they need to. There's a there's there's a, there's a fine line between bearing all, uh huh, and 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 what is necessary. Yes. One of the things that I I struggle with or I question mm -hmm. is not wanting to dilute. Mm -hmm. Just how powerful the testimony is. Mm -hmm. And this is why we need to heed to the Holy Spirit. My God. If people knew. <laughs> if people knew everything. The full hundred. The full hundred. <laughs> they would they would fall down. Ah. Okay. When I say that, they would fall down because they're thinking. And, 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 this, and, and I'm not referencing that to any one particular area of my life. I'm just saying the full hundred, the full, the full lowdown of Elysia's Absolutely. testimony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They would fall down. They would think, oh, so God really did that? Mm -hmm. And it was that bad? And mm -hmm. he did that? Where when you just give snippets, mm -hmm. I, I guess I question. Yeah. Um, I'm careful not to do the testimony and injustice. Ah, glory to God. So that is something that God and I are working out. Ah, and it takes a while to 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 work that out because yes, you want definitely. God to get the glory. Oh, you yeah. want to give God the glory because it belongs to him. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you give that full hundred, um, will it, uh, take away from the glory of God. It, it, it's 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 a, it's a wrestling sort it, of. A... You 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 hit it right on the nail. No no no. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. You all. know, you should I do the the, the the full hundred of it, or should I just make God glory go and shine? All right, God, take the glory. Your glory go and shine. And you know what's beautiful? Yes. By being still. <laughs> And knowing that he's God. Yes. And yielding to his instructions ah. of how to be still, how to cope. Absolutely. When to talk, when to shut up, yeah. when not to move, when to move, when to when to act. When you follow his instructions, mm -hmm. that is when he gets all the glory. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. Because in doing that, he has been beautifying character. Yes. And then he is it's qualifying you even more. Hallelujah. Because now you know how to respond. To things. You know how to respond. There is a way to respond to things as a believer. Yes. And when you, when you get that down pat, mm. that is when he smiles and i feel him smiling hey. and it's funny because i had a couple of people come to me out of the blue who i know of but i don't know oh, they're not friends i would say associates mm -hmm. who have just come out of the blue and said at different times god is so pleased with you amen Perfect. and one of them said it to me god is so as I said to tell you he is very pleased with you bless god and i wept in the spirit yes because when you know mm -hmm. for yourself where you're coming from mm -hmm. what, you're and coming what out your of. experiences have been mm -hmm. when you've held on to god and you have followed his instructions you've been still you've really surrendered my God. And he says, I'm pleased with you. Glory to God. There is something that leaves me in a place of silent humility. Glory to God. Where for days, there was days 
I couldn't even find words. I just said, Holy Spirit, yes. intercede. Mm -hmm. Because the gratitude was beyond mm -hmm. comprehension. It was beyond words. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Lord, I want to thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I know most of you are silent because you are enjoying what you have been hearing. And I'm pleased to let you know that you will hear more of Minister Wells. Um, we will figure out how we're going to get, um, you can hear her during the morning, wherever, you know. But she will be coming to Positive Radio 106.9 on a regular routine. I will figure out a way to get her messages right here. She does not have to be live for her messages to be on Positive Radio. And, you know, we, we, we believe and this is what we're doing. We're not doing this for the numbers, either cash dollar sign in front of it or, you know, one thing I love about you, I don't see any cash up on your thing either. You know, I, I kind of like when no. I cash up on people's stuff. I, I really love it. You know, so um, we're just doing this because this is what the Lord ordered us to do and we are doing it because the Lord, the, 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 the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I want to play one thing before she leaves because Taylor Caird is coming up and when the conversation is sweet like this, we just want to go on and on, but I want to play something just for her or us. Thank you. <laughs> I flex the muscles near both ends of my mouth and I smile. <laughs> I smile because I'm so proud of the woman I've become. I smile because I now face everything I used to run from. I smile because no weapon formed against me prospers. I smile because everything that tried to conquer me, I conquered. Yeah. I smile because I didn't get bitter, I got better. I smile because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son and I'm in the whosoever. I smile because I've been hurt in relationships and I got through it. I smile because I no longer cower when I see a mountain, now I speak to it. I smile because I have a beautiful daughter, whom of which reminds me daily of God's grace. I smile because everything I thought was a loss, God replaced. I smile because I know the stone throwers hate it. I smile because I am fearfully and wonderfully created. I smile because I don't want my haters to ever think they have an effect. I smile because God has been so good to me the last time I checked. I smile because I'm blessed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I smile because I know God to be a keeper and I'm thankful to him for keeping me. I smile because I've released all the negative people in my life out. I smile because no matter how much I've been through, I still have an excessive amount to smile about. I smile because I didn't get infected. I smile because God's grace and mercy covered me when I went unprotected. I smile because I didn't get what I deserved. I smile because when I couldn't find comfort in man, I found peace in the word. I smile because there was a time when I couldn't look at my reflection. I smile because now I embrace all my imperfections. I smile because I'm one of God's most precious jewels. I smile because he transformed all my enemies into footstools. Yeah. I smile because God's love has no conditions. I smile because the sun has risen. I smile because he saved my life. So when you see me smiling, know that I have joy. And it's only because I endure through the night. I smile. Amen. Amen. And I feel a lot of people just tearing up, tearing up, tearing up. And I want to dedicate it to you as well because, you know, in spite of what we go, we're going through, we must be able to have the ability to do this one simple thing. Mm -hmm. Smile. Woman Amen. of God, my sister, I want to thank you for the time that you have taken out of your busy night schedule just to come and minister to the audience here on 97.3 Unity with Love Radio and 106.9 Positive Radio. It is indeed a pleasure to have you ministering to so many people across the globe. 
May God continue to bless you. May God continue to keep you. May your minister continue, ministry continue to heal souls around yes. the world. And before I go, I got two minutes to go. I'm going to let you close out in prayer. Come, honey. Go Amen. ahead. God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You must send that to me. That was absolutely beautiful. I was just, oh, that was just phenomenal. I will. Phenomenal. Heavenly Father, we just thank you this evening. Lord, I thank you for the lives, for the woman of God, first of all, darling sister Donna, for having me on here today on Positive Radio as a guest to come and to share that which you have imparted and deposited on the inside of me. Hallelujah. I thank you for the lives of every woman and man and every listener who is on the live on Facebook, on YouTube, on the radio, those that will listen and tune into the replay. I thank you for every life, Lord. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for every experience that we have had. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that we are learning to make peace with our pieces. Oh, and Lord, I'm asking you tonight to mend. You are a mender of broken hearts. You are, a, you are the healer of broken hearts. Yes. You are the one who comes, Lord God, to turn around disappointment. Hallelujah. And I thank you this evening, Lord. I'm asking you, Lord, to heal. Visit tonight, Lord, the city of of the souls of the people that have heard this word this evening. Mm -hmm. Uproot that which the enemy has tried to suppress. Thank you. Every hurt, every pain, disappointment, mm. every tear, the silent tears that nobody knows about but you. Cool. The person who cries in the shower when mm -hmm. nobody's there. Yeah. Hallelujah. The people whose tears fall mm -hmm. and they can't find the words but only when the Holy Spirit comes to make intercession. Hallelujah. Glory. We thank you, Lord, because Jesus said, I have prayed for you, Jesus. that your faith fail you not. My so God. I pray tonight, Lord, that by this word, by this testimony, yes, somebody's faith tonight will be stirred up. Yes, God. Somebody's faith will be ignited tonight, Glory invigorated, to Lord, mm. set ablaze. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They will understand that the pain has had a purpose. The purpose is the learned tongue yes, God. to go on and to testify, yes, to encourage someone else, yes, to show them how they have navigated through the journey, to understand what deliverance looks like. My God. And I thank you, Lord, My for God. the smiles. I thank you, Lord, yes, God. for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. I thank you that you are mighty in battle. Hallelujah. I thank you that you're swift to deliver. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for the coping mechanisms that you have taught me, Holy Spirit. Yes. To God. be able to teach and to share with somebody else this evening. Yes, God. That when they're going through it, mm -hmm. the trials, the tribulations, the pain, the hurt, some it's dating back 20, 30, 40 years. Some they're going through it now. Yes, God. But Lord, they will learn how to navigate through. They yes. have something tangible yes. to go away with tonight. Yes, to God. implement, mm -hmm. to know how to be still, mm. to know that you're God, to not have to react to everything, mm -hmm. but to be still, to learn to trust you. Yes, Hallelujah. God to mm. trust you, to mm. rely on you, to mm. fully depend mm -hmm. upon you and to believe in your word. My God. To stand on your promises yes, and to God. know that you promise to do a new thing. Mm -hmm. And that like Job said, and when he has tried me, yes. I shall come forth. Yes, God. They will come forth because I have come forth as gold. I pray this prayer tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We come before you and you promise where there are two or three gathered in your name. You're here to bless, Hallelujah. to heal, to deliver, to rearrange some things, to yes. remove some people, yes, to God. stir up the faith yes, God. of your people, to answer prayer yes. of the righteous. 
of the true remnant people of Amen. God who are not afraid to stand for holiness mm. and your truth. I praise you tonight. Praise I glorify God. your holy name. I honor you, you tonight. I give you are. the full regard that you're worthy of all the praise. Glory and even God. then it's not enough. But please, Lord, accept it tonight. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless Glory. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Le woman of God, you are, you must come back. It is not over until the Lord says so. This Hallelujah. is Alpha. It is not the Omega. So right now we're going to pronounce a blessing that whatever the Lord has joined together, no man will put asunder. Amen. I welcome you to the family of Positive Radio 106.9 and you. Unity with Love Radio 97.3 um, on the FM band, broadcasting out of the state of New York, broadcasting across the globe. They want you back and you will be back. So God <laughs> bless you. Thank okay. you. I know it's midnight and you got to okay. go. So God bless you. Thank you, Minister Alizia Wells. God, God bless, bless you. you. I'm humbled. God bless you. Yes. I dedicate this song to recession, depression, and unemployment. This song's for you. Today's a new day. But there is no sunshine. Nothing but clouds and it's dark in my heart and it feels like a cold night. Today's a new day. Uh. Where are my blue skies? Where is the love and the joy that you promised me? Tell me it's alright. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I almost gave up with a power that I can't explain. Come on now, come on now. Oh, Jesus. Sister Beverly Jared Dyer, welcome. Let us smile. Put the smile on your face. When you think you're one bad, if someone else got it, but we are broken pieces and pieces, and we smile because we're broken. It's a new day. I want to thank everyone for joining. Coming up next would be none other than Miss Nurse Taylor with some good health information. It ain't easy, but today's a new day. Oh, Jesus. Where are my blue skies? Where is that love, y'all? Where is the love and the joy that you promised me? Tell me it's all right. The truth is. I almost gave up a power that I can't explain. That Holy Ghost power, y'all. Fell from heaven like a shower. Are you smiling yet? Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Come on. Hey. Lord, I thank you for this smile. What a gift. What a gift. What a gift. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon, Akitana. How are you? I am well. Here comes another smiler. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was listening and I said, you know, I had a whole... Uh, one direction I was going in today, and I was listening to your interview with Miss um, Miss Wells. Yes, Wells, mm -hmm. and it just kind of changed my whole direction. Oh Jesus! I thank you, <laughs> Lord. Oh, yeah. God bless so, you. It was meant for me to hear that, and um, just to be able to add on to that. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, let me do what we do best here. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a good thing. Let me introduce you the way I normally do. Are you yes, having difficulty managing your activities of daily living? Do you or a loved one need the assistance of a home health aide? Tailored care can help you find the care you need. 
we provide the guidance and expertise of an experienced nurse to create a personalized care plan just for you. We provide services anytime, anywhere. Call today to schedule your free assessment at 1-888-712-0569 or visit us at www.tailoryourcare.com. And remember, we care. We do care. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time when we um, give you information as it regards to health, health care, and everything under the Ministry of Health. And none other than Nurse Taylor will be the one to give you that information. My recommendation or suggestion is that you get your pens and paper because it's summertime and it's smoothie time. So God bless you, Nurse Taylor. It is all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie Donna. Mm -hmm. um, so as I said, I did have one, you know, a few, some information I wanted to share, and we'll get to that shortly. Um, but, you know, I was listening to Ms. Wells, and, you know, she was right on point. And yes. the fact that this one thing came to me when I was listening to all the reasons to smile, and one thing came to me, was smile because you can. Ah. Now, I have had a crazy week and it's already, it's only Tuesday. And I just wanted to share something that happened to me. Um, you know, since we've been talking a lot about depression and, you know, things that have been going on. Yes. And, you know, you can be depressed by things that are going on that have absolutely nothing to do with you directly. Hallelujah. I want to run and I want to share. Uh, this was one of the coping mechanisms that she shared. <laughs> so I want to hear your coping mechanism now. <laughs> so, yeah, I... It happened to me, so I, I called uh, an aide that has been signed up with me for quite some time, mm -hmm. and I had got a case in her area. So it took me a minute to find something close by. She doesn't drive. So I was, I was a little excited to call her and finally give her something. Mm -hmm. And um, I she answered the phone, and me and my regular bubbly self just went on talking and talking about the case and da-da-da-da. And she just started screaming and crying mm -hmm. and I just froze like what happened here mm -hmm. and she told me that um she had just got news that her son in Jamaica was killed oh. and she just was you know I mean it was a, a a cry only a mother that will come from a mother that has lost a child Jesus. so it immediate it had such an effect on me mm -hmm. um that i found myself not being able to think of anything else mm. so you know i started to think about how you know we've been talking about depression we know that a lot of people are depressed and you have that feeling that you don't really know why mm -hmm. And, you know, we watch the news every day. Yes. We know what's going on. Just so that you know that you can be affected mm -hmm. by the trauma that is happening to other people. Yes. And, you know, you, you sympathize or you empathize with someone else's pain. That is a natural feeling. But when it, when it, comes one after the next after the next and I know that we've all been going through that because you know there's been a lot of people passing away mm -hmm. whether it's from COVID or something else it's just been it seems to me in my life that it's been one after the next after the next after the next yes. whether it's a family member or just someone you know I work with or someone that I know mm -hmm. it's just nonstop. so I find that it's hard for me to smile, mm. to find joy in the day because these things that are going on wow. are so sad and just so, 
you know, you feel such pain for these people and then you feel almost a guilt yes. to smile and be happy. Mm. Wow. So these feelings are real. Yes. And, it, you know, it's having an effect on, I think all of us, it's having an effect on mm -hmm. our children. Um, it's just having an effect on our work life. Yes. Are you able to even concentrate on work? Um, you know, you're just feeling overwhelmed by everything. Mm. Because for the human mind, it is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of emotion to deal with. Yes. And, you know, I just find that sharing those experiences with other people does help. Yes. You Thank know, you. and uh, just having someone to talk to. So I'm glad that I was able to share with you and your listeners. Um because it's real. It's a feeling that I'm feeling. And that, to me, is the healthiest way to get past what you're feeling, is to put words to it. Yes. To, you know, acknowledge those feelings. My God. And be diligent. Mm -hmm. Be deliberate in protecting yes. your mind, Jeez. body, and soul. Intentional intentional you better be intentional to protect your peace exactly so you smile because you can yes because you are here yes when a lot of people are not my god and you you don't feel guilty for smiling and being happy mm-hmm because that is what God has for you at that moment in time. My God. My God. My God. So, yes, I did want to share that with you. And Miss um, Wells really did help me put words to what I was feeling. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, she, she said, make peace with your pieces. Yes. And that is another thing that has a lot to do with depression is that I know for me um, I always have felt fulfilled being a nurse mm -hmm. helping people you know I did feel that that was my calling and where I should be however after being a nurse for so long and doing the same thing I was not fulfilled in the role that I was playing I needed more I needed to do something else um, I felt that there was more that I needed to do. My God. So until I did that, you know, I was not pleased with myself. Mm. So being pleased with yourself is a personal thing. No one else can tell you mm -hmm. how to be pleased with yourself. My God. And you have to recognize where your peace is going to come. My God. If it's something that you want to do, something that's calling, pulling on you, you will feel depressed. You yeah. will feel, uh, you know, like there's something that's not done Amen. in your life Amen. until you reach for that goal, that thing that is pulling on you. Yes. So you have got to make peace with your pieces. Wow, Be deliberate. Too with protection of your mind, mm -hmm. body, and soul, so. and realize that your failures or your what you think are your failures, not what someone else mm -hmm. feels are, are your failures, are your weaknesses mm -hmm. wow. for yourself, not for someone else. Yes. But those things cause you to have depression, mm -hmm. feelings of low self-worth, mm -hmm. And you have to attack what is important to you mm. and be deliberate. Okay. So that's that, Auntie Donna. And I do want to get back to why we are here. Yes. Uh, with some health tips that I have for you. Go ahead, darling. Okay. So I came across a few uh, not so common things um, that I just wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. So, um, it has been said that drinking coffee mm -hmm. will help you to have a better nap. Hmm. So that seems weird to me. So I, you know, read on. And so 
So a 20 minute nap, they say ends. If you took a 20 minute nap, it would end just as the caffeine kicks in. Mm. And so if you're really, really tired and you have something to do, but you really want to get a quick nap, Mm -hmm. you drink the coffee, immediately take a nap. And by the time the coffee kicks in, you are waking up feeling fresh and ready to go. Right. Wow. Um, another help tip, a help tip is to not brush your teeth immediately after meals and drinks. So I did hear this before, mm-hmm. um, but I came across it again, so I wanted to share um, that with you. So we, you have foods have acidic uh, particles in them, mm-hmm. citrus fruits, mm-hmm. sports drinks, tomatoes, sodas, mm-hmm. especially diet sodas um, that can wear your enamel. So if you brush your teeth directly after you eat, then you are going to uh, damage your teeth because they're already in a compromised state from the acid softening them. Okay. Okay. Um, Another health tip, and I think I've said this before, about working out and exercising. Um, If you want to wear a smaller size, you will actually need to gain weight. So muscle weight, muscle and fat weigh the same thing, but muscle takes up less space. So the more muscle you have, the bigger your muscles, the less space there is for fat. So if you are working out and you see that the scale is going up instead of down, that is actually a good thing because that means you are building muscle, therefore you are losing fat. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that helps people because a lot of people. Oh, so rely, you, I'm like, really? <laughs> they, they rely on the scale. So, like, so if really? you start, if you start an exercise uh, regimen and you're building muscle and you're relying on the scale, you're going to get, you know, discouraged because uh-huh. you're going to, it's not working. I tell you. But it actually is because your muscle is taking up more space Mm -hmm. and causing you to weigh more. Okay. Got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. The next thing is to drink water when you are bloated. So a lot of people think of, you know, you know, that bloated feeling you Mm -hmm. get. Um, You don't want to drink water because you feel like, okay, that's going to add to the bloating. But if you're on a high fiber diet, for instance, your body needs more water to work efficiently. Mm -hmm. So um, drinking the water affects the motility in the gut. So it gives the food more fluid to move Mm -hmm. instead of sitting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a way of getting rid of the extra fluid because the more motility in your gut, the more fluid will be passed. Mm. Okay. So those were just a couple of health tips. And I want to go from there to talk about the sun. Mm -hmm. So we've had some hot days Mm -hmm. and we got more hot days coming up. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about the sun, Um, the sun and vitamin D, which we've talked, talked about many times before. And um, just that, you know, we, we know that the sun can cause damage to our skin and cause uh, skin cancer and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but the positive effects of the sun with the vitamin D um, kind of for, for melanated skin mm-hmm. uh, outweigh the risk of damage mm-hmm. uh, from skin cancer or anything like that. 
So if you know that if you're wearing a sunblock, uh, like a sunscreen, mm-hmm. you are actually blocking the vitamin D as well. Mm. So you want to be mindful of that. You really want to get some, you know, straight sun time daily. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so so this thing about wearing sunblock, the higher the sunblock, uh, don't believe in it. What's up with that? Well, you know, I, I say this carefully, but for for us, um, Auntie Donna, I, I really we don't really need sunblock. Mm-hmm. You know, if you are more fair skinned, mm-hmm. I would say use a low level sunblock. Okay. Because again, I will tell you all the um, benefits of the vitamin D. And if I told you all of the signs and symptoms of low vitamin D, we probably all have some of those symptoms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so you want to use your sunblock with that in mind right. that you don't want to totally block out. The vitamin D. Okay. You know, vitamin D is very important for your heart health, for your brain health. As we talked about before, it's important for strong bones and mm-hmm. muscles. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's been known as a link to multiple sclerosis, mm-hmm. um, having lack of sun exposure. Mm-hmm. There has been so many studies that have showed that just the differences in cancer rate, blood pressure, and things like that, and people that are in areas where they get more sun. Right. So we, um, well, here in New York, you know, um, in the wintertime, we don't get a lot of sun. So it is important that during the summer months, we really get as much sun as we can. And also for arthritis, you know, um, it's been shown that people who live in the sunniest areas of the United States Mm -hmm. were less likely to develop uh, degenerative diseases and also arthritis. So, you know, there are plenty and also um, stomach discomfort, you know, inflammatory bowel disease. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been having stomach discomfort. I myself have been having stomach stomach discomfort Mm -hmm. and, um, A lack of vitamin D has also been linked to inflammatory bowel disease and other uh, stomach issues. Mm -hmm. So, and also with allergies, you know, children have been shown who live in low sunlight areas are more likely to be allergic to eggs and peanuts. Wow. Um, And even with eczema, I know my daughter suffered always from eczema Mm -hmm. and um, they found that kids that live in and who get less sunlight were twice as likely to develop eczema and also I noticed that my daughter's eczema was always worse in the winter time oh wow wow okay so it's important to go out and get some sun yeah Mm -hmm. yeah tell them to get out of the key you know how back in the day they used to kick the kids out you you couldn't come back in. How many? They used to count how many times you came back in the door. <laughs> you got one more time to come back in that door yes. and you're staying in. Mm-hmm. So now you kick the kids out. They need that sunlight um, for a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is sleep. We talked about sleep mm-hmm. um, a lot before. But I was reading a study that really talked about trouble sleeping and irregular sleep schedules and people who work night shift. Mm-hmm. Um that it has shown to really affect their blood pressure, Mm -hmm. their vitamin D levels, Mm -hmm. um, because they spend a lot of time sleeping during the day Mm -hmm. um, than they do at night. So I want to end off by giving you a sun protecting carrot smoothie. So um, this has a lot of ingredients that will protect your skin from the inside. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about putting on sunblock Mm -hmm. and you can uh, absorb everything the sun has for you. Yes. So the ingredients are uh, one cup of coconut water, one carrot, um, a half a cup of frozen pineapple, one frozen banana, 
two tablespoons of coconut butter, a quarter tablespoon of cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, a third cup of yellow raisins, a quarter inch segmented ginger root, and two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And I will post that, Auntie Donna, because I know that is a lot of ingredients. Um, but these are all ingredients that will help you, help your skin mm -hmm. um, absorb the sun's rays, but contain, are full of antioxidants that will help protect your skin from the UV rays. Okay, I, I got uh -huh. a question. The coconut butter. Mm. Can any butter be a substitute? Sure. Um, we also talked about the almond butter last week. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love almond butter. So mm -hmm. that's another um, substitute. Um, yeah, you can substitute. All right, or you can, you know, like I said, you can always uh, eliminate or substitute any of the ingredients to make it more towards your liking. Right. It's more important that you enjoy it. Yes. So that you will be more likely to repeat it. And, you know, there's carrots in there. And, mm -hmm. you know, carrots and leafy greens, our bodies convert beta carotene into vitamin A. Mm -hmm. So vitamin A is vital for skin health. Mm -hmm. So the carrots are the main ingredients in there. So that is one that I would not eliminate. Okay, great. Sounds good. All right. So it has been my pleasure, Auntie Donna. And um, I hope that I have been helpful in some way. You have um, been. You know, and if I can be of any help to anyone, you know, our line is always open. You can reach me at one eight 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 seven one two zero six um zero five six nine. We are here for all your home care, health care, nutrition needs, also for your housekeeping needs. Um, we have been doing a lot of housekeeping lately, you know, that is a lot of helping with those depressed feelings, getting rid of clutter, uh, you know, getting those things that have been on your to-do list checked off and done. Um, these are all methods of fighting that depression and being deliberate and protecting your mind, body, and soul. Again, you can reach us again at one 888 712 God bless you. Thanks again. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you very God. much, Ms. Taylor. Great information. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Have Are you having evening. difficulty managing your activities of daily living? Do you or a loved one need the assistance of a home health aid? Tailored Care can help you find the care you need. We provide the guidance and expertise of an experienced nurse to create a personalized care plan just for you. We provide services anytime, anywhere. Call today to schedule your free assessment at 1-888-712-0569 or visit us at www.com tailoryourcare.com and remember we care they do indeed care um that's nice Taylor. and you know what was interested about um nurse taylor's call is so that you can see that all of us go through the same feelings you know and sharing what we go through you know some you know i i i salute you um nurse taylor for coming out and speak your truth. Um, I must say thank you once again to um, Alicia Wells out of the UK for coming out and blessing so many other enc others, encouraging people that no matter what it is that you're going through, find a way to smile. Nurse Taylor said, smile because you can. That it's that simple. Smile because you can. 
I do want to say hello to my beautiful niece out there in Nigeria. Her name is Imara Joyce. Good afternoon to you, Imara. Good morning. As well, it's morning time for you over there in Nigeria. Greetings, Leonie White out of Jamaica. I missed you, um, Leonie, but next time you're on the list, you know, I want to greet everyone as I wait for nurse, um, not nurse, uh, sister, Reverend Paula to come in. Let us lead a little bit of this. So, so good afternoon to you at the top of the hour. We are over the middle. So oh, Jesus. It has been a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And as always, my intention is that what the Lord has presented to us, it will be fulfilling to our souls, our mind, and our body. It's different now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Auntie Denim. Hold on, Uncle Trevor, because you call right in a Reverend Paula time. You want to call back after Reverend Paula? I can do that. Too. All right. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. Is 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 that Colonel Paulette? No, it was Uncle Trevor. Oh, <laughs> two of the same. <laughs> Good afternoon to you. You, now, want me, you put me on hold? You want me to hold or no, what? No, 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 no. He said he will call you back after. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome. Well, greetings. Greetings, um, my granddaughter Donna. Your son, well. Yes. Your son, good. <laughs> oh, God, me get you back. I, I never know about that conjugation, but again, no. Um, now you're referring it to my health. It seems to make sense. You're so good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear, my dear. Touch mm. not the Lord anointed. And do yes, is and angel do is and no prophet arm. no arm. Yes, Dr. Bird, a funny, funny bird. A hard bird for dead. A hard bird for dead. You can't even yes, catch him. Yes, pick him up to lick, <laughs> lick him down. down. Bounce right back. <laughs> bounce right back. Oh, yes, dear yes. God. Greetings. Greetings. I see that the good Lord has let you um, flown your wings, you know, not literally, mm -hmm. and you have flown back. And yes. thank God he has been with you all along. And I know is, that. You know, you know, while we're being truthful, I mean, let me tell you, people of God, you <laughs> know, um, sometimes it's good to take yourself away. Yes. For a yes. Break a well needed break. Absolutely. Most of the time you see people are functioning and they're not happy in their functions. It's because they needed to take a break. You need even five minutes sometimes. If it's even five minutes or five days. Yes. And that yes. is what I did. I didn't want to. I felt myself sort of burning out. And I just need to take myself away from the norm, you yes, know, from yes, from from from, from running the, stu the station, from 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 answering calls, from yes. going places, from Revitalize, driving, regenerate, uh, yes, had re energize, to. and we slept. And I tell you, beautiful, I slept, beautiful. I slept. I and my feet, my come back energized, don't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so that yes, is what it's important that we do Absolutely that. Absolutely. Wherever important. you're listening to us, it's important that you balance, take balance. yourself away from all of what yes. you're doing and yes. go. Balance, my and dear. Take balance. some time to be with yourself and God. Absolutely. So that you can come back. Pull yourself away. Exactly. Good yes. afternoon, Lynette Finley. So go ahead, mom. It's your time. Yes, yes. Greetings to my granddaughter, Donna, and family, yes. and greetings to co-host Taj. I heard him on Friday evening, I think. Yes, yes I did. Mm -hmm. And I heard him this afternoon as well. Yes. Or uh, yesterday, too. Yes. And I was getting carried away. Your programs has become so interesting. I was listening to Nurse, and I... It will be remiss if I don't comment on Pastor Don Debbie's message yes. that was up uh, it's like she was looking at my topic now she attacked worship or shall i say addressed worship when i say attack it sounds aggressive yes. um she um addressed worship in the at the end how you worship and i my subject is actually indirectly addressing 
worship by the means, the approach, how you present yourself. And this is and where I, I call Sidoni. And, and I could, I, I felt myself, I could, I almost pinched my, I said, look at that. Mm -hmm. This woman is in Nigeria and I am over here. Mm -hmm. And we are both thinking of worship at different angles. Yes. I said, God, you are great. And we are worshiping God with our smiles, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I would like to um, say hello to Apostle Michael Benefit and his wife and, yes. you know, his immediate and extended family. Mm -hmm. It is so important for us to love each other, live with each other, mm -hmm. share yes. with each other. Amen. Tomorrow is never promised to anyone. Mm -hmm. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Mm -hmm. And to all your very faithful listeners throughout mm -hmm. the universe and globally. Mm -hmm. Now, before I even get to my topic, I want to sing one verse of Redeemed. I'm not going into any other, just one verse. Go ahead. I think of my blessed Redeemer. I think of him all the day long. I think for I cannot be silent. His theme, his love is the theme of my song. Redeemed, redeemed. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Now, this is very pertinent because of some experience I had last week. And, you know, it, it, it just reinforced when God redeems you, when God calls you, when God covers you, mm -hmm. when God cleaves you, cleave to God, God cleaves to you. He said, if you know him, he knows you. Mm -hmm. it, it is such a wonderful thing to know that God never leave nor forsake his mm -hmm. own. And I just want to, it is a testimony, but I'm, I'm not going into the detail, mm -hmm. but of course, I was a little derailed last week, Absolutely. but it's not going to take long for me to get back on track mm -hmm. because guess what? No matter what, I am communicating with my my father mm -hmm. and my father never leaves me alone okay, and he will never leave anyone alone mm -hmm. you stick to god and god will stick. always stick with you oh my god amen oh my amen god. amen as i was saying um pastor debbie mm -hmm. oh uh, she she presented such a very a truthful very Mm, detailed and uh, a very, you know people may think that when a pastor or someone talk about Christian dumb, when individuals really address how we as Christians, uh, shall I say, supposed to be children of God, how we should worship God. Individuals tend to think you're picking on them. Mm -hmm. the individuals think that you are throwing word on them. Mm -hmm. the individuals think that you're always trying to pull them down. Mm -hmm. But that's not the purpose. Mm -hmm. The purpose is to bring us to the realization. And it is for each and every one of us to be able to spread the word, to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. It is for us to to look into ourselves and to be able to, that's what the scripture it is for, correction. Mm -hmm. And we need to get, take correction. Mm -hmm. But many individuals do not want to take that at all. Mm -hmm. it, it is because of the love. It's the love that we have for each other. Mm -hmm. It's the love that we have for the Christian family mm -hmm. and the family of God. Mm -hmm. And this is why when Jeremiah the prophet, you know, he's called the weeping prophet. Mm -hmm. He's not called the weeping prophet just for show. Mm -hmm. You see, when you're a child of God, Mm -hmm. When you are, if you're really called, if you're really appointed and anointed, people don't understand. You have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. there, 
is a responsibility and you cannot shirk that responsibility. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you see the evils in the world and when you see the things that are not looking up to the standard of God, when you see things around you that are not really coming and, 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 and answering to what God wants, it, inside of you is pain. Mm-hmm. You're not happy. You cannot be happy because you're not belonging to the world. Mm-hmm. If you're in the world, it is okay. You are going to close your eyes and you're going to move on Mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Then this is why Jeremiah cried. He cried because he could see the lost souls. Mm -hmm. He could see them going down to destruction. Mm -hmm. And the more he preached, the more he talked to them. Mm -hmm. It's the same, just the same. All the time, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Noah did the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's as if he could take his heart out and try to transplant it in some of the people's heart. Mm -hmm. And it could not happen. Because no matter who he talked, they just cro- they just laughed. Mm. They parted more and more. We're seeing the same thing today. What is was? There is nothing new under the sun. The Bible tells us that we are going to be loving pleasure more than God. It's happening. And even people who call themselves children of God are loving pleasure more than God. Oh, my God. And when you talk about it, they try to point their fingers at you and they try to criticize you, then bad mouth you and want to tear you down. But blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, because there is a kingdom waiting. Mm -hmm. And I pray, I always say I'm not perfect, but I hope to be, I aim to be, and I pray and hope that I do not get myself wanted when I'm throwing on that scale. We are talking, people like Pastor Debbie and others. It's not because you you just want to talk. Mm-hmm. You're led by the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. If you have any semblance and any relationship with God, you just don't open your mouth and talk. Mm-hmm. You just don't utter vain words. Mm-hmm. These words are orchestrated and sent mm-hmm. by God. Mm-hmm. Now, tonight, my topic is... Rent your heart Mm. and not your garments. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now, I want individuals, please, spend some time with me. And notice I did not say render. I said rend your hearts and not your garment. For some time, in fact, since I was a child... I have heard the saying, render your hearts and not your garments. Mm -hmm. Another common saying is, it's holy, holy, but it clean Mm though. Both these saying is reference to the worship and the garments that is used or is worn in the worshiping in the sanctuary. The first saying, render your hearts and not your garments, has been repeated over and over, like a whip to a horse's back, and is often used by individuals to justify the indecent way to practice on dressing in the house of the Lord. Contemporarily, it is generally accepted that a woman or woman can enter into the house of the Lord showing their breasts, legs, and thighs. And it is all right. It is okay. It is not okay. It is not all right. It is all wrong. Let us back up and look what worshiping and to whom we are worshiping represent. Let us examine the qualities and the attributes of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is first of all the only begotten Son of God. From pure stock, royal blood, holy, omnipotent, omniscience, and preeminent, first in everything. God is righteous, holy, sacred, to be reverence. The bridegroom of the church, he is the head of the church, Jesus Christ. We are the church, and we should present ourselves blameless, without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We do not know what, oh sorry, we do know that the wheat and the tears must grow together until the day of harvest. We know that we are working in the vineyard for the Lord. We know that a vineyard produces sweet grapes, sour grapes, bad grapes, good grapes, bitter grapes. God is an orderly God. The place of worship should be consecrated, set apart for holiness. My question is, how then can the body of Christ entertain the idea that one should enter into the house of the Lord as if they are going to the beach or they are going to the dance hall. Never, no, never, unacceptable, should be unacceptable to the eyes of human and also we know it's unacceptable unto God. Don't fool ourselves. Many of us are fooling ourselves. Note, I have said dance hall, not a banquet, because when an individual goes to a banquet, they wear expensive attire, evening gowns, bling bling for women, and best suits dress up for the men. How then would we be led to believe that God is telling us that we can come almost naked in the church to worship him? Not at all. Irreverent, ungodly. I have been listening to this saying about how it is all right to come in to worship anyhow, that I decided to find out the genesis, the root of this saying, render your heart and not your garment. I've heard individuals say, God is not interested in your clothes. He's interested in your heart. It's your heart that he wants to see. Wrong again. Absolutely wrong. Now, I consulted the biblical dictionary and I wanted to find out what is the meaning of rent and the definition of render. There are two different words. And somewhere down the line, historically, they have begotten, mixed up, and they have been misconstrued, and they have false meaning. Render. Render meaning give or return at first. When I looked at it, it made sense to me. Because in the process of repentance and obtaining salvation, it was our hearts that God desires. So we're giving it. He wants a clean hand and a pure heart. I went through the reference scriptures and did not find an instruction to render my heart and not my garment. Meaning I went through the Bible 
And I wanted to find in the Bible, you see, there are some common sayings that have come down from generation to generation to generation. And Elder Carl has mentioned some common practices. And these are things that we are children, as children of God, must be aware. We must be able to understand that it's not everything you hear. You must just pick it up and repeat it. Try and find out if this is true. Does it have any semblance or truth to the scriptures before we start to make it our theory? Or making it a theory and making it part of our doctrine. And so when I looked at the dictionary, I did not find any reference scripture as render your heart and not your garment. And then a light went off in my head. I said, wow, I have to find out where this saying came from. Is this a man-made saying? Is it something that has been diluted and has been polluted during down the ages? Because sometimes people may hear things, and by the time it gets to you, it, the meaning change. Even the words change. And so I started to search the Bible. When I looked close to render, I saw the word rend, mm -hmm. R-E-N-D. And the definition of rend meaning cleave, cut, tear, split. I said, wow, cleave. Because the English language, each word has many different meanings according to the context in which it is being used. I looked at it. Cleave is very relevant because if you are going to worship God, you're going to cleave to him. You're supposed to adhere to him, meaning stick to him. You're going to get closer to God. And before you even do that, cut, tear is even relevant because you cut yourself away from the world, tear yourself away from all the pleasures of the world outside. You transform and not conform. And you could have said you're split from out there too. Oh, they're also relevant on our journey out of the carnal world mm. to develop a close, intimate relationship with God, especially when we are coming out of the wilderness, which is the world. Babylon. I started to read the reference scriptures for rent. Sure enough, I said, Eureka, I find it. In the book of Joel, a very small, short book, Joel chapter 3, verse 13, you will read, rend your hearts and not your garments. Saints of God, children of God, those who are aspiring to be children of God, please take note. The word is rend, R-E-N-D. Not render your heart and not your garment. Biblically, in scripture, it is rend, not render. Today, I'm going to shake up the very bedrock of one of the common sayings in Christendom. Render your heart and not your garment is not biblical. My question is, and I am sure I will not receive an answer, only from God. I would like to know who started it. When it was started, where it was started, where was this unbiblical instruction became, where was it that the biblical instruction of rending, of rend your hearts, rend your hearts and not your garments, became polluted, diluted, 
re- re- repeated and practiced dragging the sanctity and the holiness and spiritual morality down into the gutter of the cesspool of this world. Misinformation. Misinformation. I know that God would never tell us that we can come into the house of the Lord to worship him and you present yourself whichever way you are. Because if you come in whichever way you want, it is telling us the condition of your heart. Because if your heart is going to be clean and pure, you would have some morality. Even if you don't want to practice the social morality, but the spiritual morality Mm. would be able to conduct your behavior in a way that is holy and acceptable unto God. Mm. I have heard of scholarly individuals, doctors of theology, I hope. I've heard of many doctors. I never know where they get this from. I don't know what doctrine they, what doctorship they're talking about. But if you're a doctor of theology, meaning you have a DD, that's what it's supposed to be, a doctor in divinity, meaning that you have knowledge It's supposed to be the highest knowledge in theology and scriptures. I don't know where these doctors come from. I really don't know. Because individuals wanted to call me doctor too. And they want to call me bishop too. And I stop it. Why? Because I am not a bishop and I did not have a DD. I don't want anybody to put any title on me. Because those titles are unimportant, unirrelevant, And in the sight of God, it means nothing. God is not going to ask us if you were a doctor. He's not going to ask if you had a PhD, which is the worldly doctorate that you can have for any other subjects. He's not going to ask these things. They are unimportant. I could have been known as a bishop, but I stop it. I don't want it. I'm not ordained as a bishop, and I'm not going to accept it, and I don't want to be called a bishop. I have heard bishops, I've heard pastors, I've heard evangelists. I've heard children of God and supposedly children of God. They all use these words, render your hearts and not your garment. Mm -hmm. Let me pause for a minute here, because children of God, you may think I'm being repetitive, and I am. Because one of the most important things is that we must learn in life to research things. We must not be willing to just accept what is being thrown at you. Mm -hmm. Even if you are a congregate, you go to worship, you go to church. It's just not what the pastor tells you. Get back home to your Bible, read your Bible. Mm -hmm. You should be able to have a relationship with God. You should be having an intimate relationship with God. Go home and read scripture. Read the scripture. The theme ruminate on the theme that he told you. Go back to the scripture and sit down for yourself. You're not there to just, uh, you know, drink what a pastor tell you. You're not there to just regurgitate what a pastor tell you, bring it up like you're vomiting up something. That is not the reason why you're going to worship God. You're an individual. You're unique. You're special. You should be able to learn and go home and meditate. And just not be accepting of what you are going into the church to drink for the day. Resoundingly and emphatically and convincingly and repeatedly. They have been uttering these words. I've heard even individuals preaching on it. And I've heard individuals even retorting others. And telling them, don't tell the individual that they should come to worship in the sanctuary in a respectful way. God don't want to see that. It's him heart him looking at. But you know, (laughs) what does it say? Show show me something and you're dancing or whatever. And it tells me, your company, it tells me who you are. Mm -hmm. 
And 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 if you are going to carry yourself immorally, spiritually immoral, and 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 even even socially immoral, you cannot be a child of God. I don't care what anybody wants to tell me, and and and, and, and I'm not I'm not judging anyone because I know this is one of the the, the vocabulary that is quickly used and and thrown back by by us individuals who are children of God and 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 saying we are worshiping God is if anyone say anything and critique in a very positive way. Oh, oh, she thinks she's a judge. No. If you um, make a statement, and your statement doesn't necessarily mean to be oral. It doesn't mean that you talk. There are so many silent statements that individuals put out. By the way you sit down, by the way you move yourself, mm, by the clothes you wear, mm, even your eyes, it's communication. You see, most individuals think that when you do certain things, it's just from the mouth. The mouth is just a part of the communication. And so if we are going to be a child of God, we have to start to try and emulate the behaviors of our father and his son. We cannot go around thinking we can do our own thing. Our own thing is never going to be good enough. Let me say this. As always, I will irritate. This is not an attempt to show that I know it all. As some people may retort, or is it done to show up the ignorance of anyone, but simply to show the, that we should not be complacent. We should not sit down even even children today many children if you talk to them today they question you they ask mm -hmm. questions this is not the time when i was growing up and they're saying you must be be be, be mm -hmm. seen and, and not, not heard. heard those days are gone god has given each and every one of us a computer up in our heads mm -hmm. long before they come with this computer business mm -hmm. And we must use it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Oh my God. But that we should get facts. We should find out things. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, even if something is bothering you, you should be able to be able not to be afraid to approach your pastor. Mm -hmm. You should be able to go to your pastor with contradictory um, statements. Mm -hmm. You should be saying, but pastor, I didn't think what you said there was the right thing. You know, can you please <laughs> explain to me and justify to me why you came up with such an answer so that I can have the knowledge? This is what it's all about. It's not that the pastor is in an ivory tower and whatever he says goes because he's the head. Those days are gone. Mm -hmm. We must be able to have dialogue with our pastors. But suffice it to say, I'm hearing that individuals don't even want to confide in some of these pastors because they said it's better go down to that Times Square and put it up. There's no privacy. We should not have that with a pastor. We should not. Your members should be able to have something bothering them and they come and sit down and talk to you in mm -hmm. confidence and it stays there. Mm -hmm. Even if it's between a husband and wife and he said, well, this is something that I want to talk about, but I probably don't want my wife to know about it. It doesn't necessarily have to go to, his, to the wife, providing you can resolve the situation and give him something positive to mm -hmm. go back to resolve whatever problem he has with his wife Amen. or husband. Amen. Thanks of God. We are really lost. We need to wake up. Hmm. My God. We need to wake up. We really need to wake up. My God. And you know, this is why many people may wonder, Reverend Paula, where is her church? Yes, I had a church for a while. Yes, I did. And as I get older, I just don't do things. I just don't do things. I have to consult our master. Hallelujah. We have to. Amen. One doesn't have to have a church to reach out to people. 
Mm-hmm. I can witness in so many different ways. And God gives us all witnessing in different ways. Mm-hmm. And as I said before, if I didn't speak about it, I am going to. We don't draw no soul. Uh, we, 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 we win. We win what? We don't win no souls for Christ. Where we get this all, the, all those all those common sayings, we're winning souls for Christ. Mm. It's not a jackpot. Mm. It's not a lottery. Mm. We're talking about <laughs> Almighty God's heavenly kingdom, and we can't win no soul for Christ. Oh, we can show individuals the way, sure. and the job is there. The Trinity, the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. He will do the work. My God. Why do we have to want to go around and pick up ourselves and give ourselves so much credit about what we're winning for Christ? Mm. Please, what are we winning? We can't. Mm. And the word win has no part in a, in, in a child of God vocabulary. Because that's gambling. That's gambling. Mm. Whenever you start to win a gamble, you're talking about. Mm. And God don't love gamblers. Mm. And Paul told the Romans, he said, no, I would not have you ignorant. Ignorant means lacks of knowledge. Ignorance is a worse crime than poverty because it robs us of the tools of knowledge that can ensure us to achieve our God's given potentials, God will and purpose that can propel us out of poverty. I'm aware how hard it is to rewire our brains, to change a paradigm, our functional model. It is very important. You see, we should always be evolving. Not evolving in terms of human species, but evolving in terms of growing. We must grow. Whenever we cease to grow, we die. We have to grow mentally, physically, socially, intellectually. Mm -hmm. We have to grow. And whenever you stop, that is it. However, if we are presenting ourselves in the public arena, it is incumbent upon us to present what is true and what the scriptures teaches us. When we are given an authority, and if we are given the authority by God, Mm -hmm. if we are given that authority by God to lead and to teach his people, it is a very big responsibility. And that responsibility should not be taken lightly. And we should not just come, especially in the, in the, in, on the air, on the radio, in the media, and just open our mouths and say anything we want to say. Because remember, the world is listening. People are listening. And the worldly people who do not consider themselves children of God, are looking to us for example. They're they're, they're hungry, they're thirsty. They desperately want us to set that example for them to follow. And many times they do not get it. They're unbelievers. They really want to learn. But when they see us and see the way we behave, they are saying, Oh, oh, come on now. I don't even want to belong into that family. Mm-hmm. On reflection, let me add that when the high priest entered the Holy of Holies, mm-hmm. his prescribed way of dressing was given to him by God. And if for any reasons he entered Partially attired or on the wrong day, meaning not on the day of atonement, he would die. So tell me, saints of God, 
Why do you think God will tell those individuals that they must dress properly into the tabernacle or in the Holy of Holies, but we can come anywhere we want, showing breast, legs, and ties into the place? You see, once that occurs, once that occurs, and the head of that place accommodate it, it means that you are favoring the world and not God. You are not going to say to the person if they enter that day, you know, you're going to go down to them straight away from your pulpit and say, get out of my church because you're not dressed properly and you're to do 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 da 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 da. No, if you're a man of God, you're going to be a man of reasoning. You're going to be a man of rationality. You're going to be a man of logic. You're going to be a man of ethics. You're going to know all these things, and you know how to deal with it. After church, you can speak to the person privately. You see, we tend to accept all these things in the churches because we know that the congregation, it is all about money. It boils down to finance. But I want to tell you, even if you do the right thing, God will send the right people in and you will still get your finance. Mm -hmm. It goes to prove that we cannot expect God to accept us on our filthy, unrighteous standards. It cannot be done. Righteousness God is more interested in our obedience than sacrifice and worship. Let us have a good old revival of worship. You know, it's like it's like Pastor Debbie in Nigeria was just looking at my topic for the evening. You see, <laughs> Where spirituality is, where true, pure, clean spirituality is, it reveals itself. Amen. Let the church be the church mm. that is built upon the rock, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Let that church be the church that God wants it to be in closing. God is instructing us to rend our hearts for cleansing. That's what he was trying to tell us. God is telling us, it's not your fancy clothes. He's not talking about not covering, but he's telling us that we don't have to go overboard to mass up our plastic money just to come in with some fancy hats and dresses and shoes. That's what God is trying to say. Because there are some individuals who go to church and they're renting their clothes, not their hearts. Mm -hmm. This is the clothes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the way they appear. Mm -hmm. And it's like there is a secret competition between each other. Who's going to outdress each other? Mm. I can talk about it from a, a Church of England Anglican perspective because I was brought up in those churches. Now, I know it happens in the rest of the churches too, mm -hmm. but that is unimportant. You can put on a $10 dress and go into church and worship God. That's what he's trying to tell you. He's not saying you don't have to have a $100, $300 dress to come in and, and a red bottom shoes. That's what he's trying to tell us. What Jesus wants and what God wants is for us to get close to him. Touching him, sticking to him. To sever, to sever our ties and allegiance to Satan and all that the world has to offer. The fleeting temporal pleasures and the fading luster of wealth and earthly possession. But we need to split ourselves, 
separate ourselves, give up and invest in the treasures in heaven. Those individuals whose highlight is to parade that is their clothes every Sunday, mm -hmm. going down the aisle. As a matter of fact, it's like they're down the runway. God is reminding us that your heart is what I am looking on. But your clothes must be presentable and fitting for a child of God. How can you dress and behave and live like an unbeliever and call ourselves children of God? We call ourselves royal. Mm -hmm. I hear the song saying royalty. King, I'm a savior. I don't need anything. I got everything. It means carrying the DNA of the sovereign God. When you say you're royal, you know, mm -hmm. and you belong to God. Mm -hmm. When they touch your DNA, and when they check out Miss DNA, it's supposed to match. Mm -hmm. But there are many individuals whose DNA is not going to match. Mm -hmm. It must match. It must match the sovereign God, your appearance, your behavior, your works. All those things are going to determine how much royal blood you have inside of you. I, I exhort each and every one, let us present our bodies holy and acceptable unto God at all times. And may God bless and keep each and every one of you. And remember, next time, you want to mention the word, render your hearts and not your garments. Remember, the word is rend, R-E-N-D, rend your hearts and not your garments. May God bless each and every one of you. And thank you all for listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Ma. God bless you. Bless you. God bless you. Yes, Mother Ripley. Don't vex to this one. This is never got me to man. Here you know. Some Christian here, they are KFC slogan. Advertising, I do a know why. Every time them come in at the church, come pray, them a show our breast leg and tie. Me, I see. Dear breast leg and tie. Go up. Dear breast leg and tie. Every time some go. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Just moderately. Thank you, our mother, everybody's mother. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you, Uncle Trevor. Good night. Good afternoon, Auntie Donna. How are you and your wonderful family this afternoon? I am gooder. Oh, yes, I'm good. Were you listening at work? Uh, no, I am home. Oh, so you were listening. listening. Listen, I was listening to Natalie, Natalie Young, Mo Young's name. Yes. I was listening to she, I was listening to her. I was, um, yes, and then I never heard her when she started, you know. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Natalie Mo Young is the one that called. You were listening to Alicia um, Wells out of the UK. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, but I was out. I was out on the street. But I, but I come in. I come in and I turn on the radio at the same time. And I, I was um, I was um, sitting down and I was listening to her. Mm -hmm. So, but, so what do you have to add to the program? We have, you know, from where you came on and listen to up until what Reverend Paula just said. Well, the, it, um, it's a fox. It, it, it's a, it's a fox. You know the word. The word is it, it's true, you know. The word the word is true, and 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 what what Reverend Paul of um 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 come with, it's it 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 it, it, it is it is real. It is real because when I was a when I was a younger man and going to to church and to Dunham was short, and when you, and when you see the um 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 the church sisters them and 
they, 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 they dress and they, they dress, their dresses are tall. And you say when, especially when they, they all in white, Auntie Donna, mm-hmm. oh my God, and they're all in white and, and you see, especially the choirs and they're all in white and, mm-hmm. and they dress tall and they're on that, that rustom mm-hmm. and, 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 and the electric, the electric light, they were shining on them, mm-hmm. Auntie Donna, they look, they, they pretty like, in a rose apple. My God. I say you can you, you, you can you can see the light of God shining upon but things in time, things in time now is the um right Christianity changed, but God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever evermore. My is God. we as children of God change the system. My God. My God. That is so we, true. That is yes, so true. We change the system. Mm-hmm. You understand? Amen. But, but God never changed. Amen. If that's the right, is it? It is the it is the right way to serve God. If we call ourselves um, children of God, mm-hmm. you know, okay. make our light so shine, so others can see. Me. Yes, can see our good works and let Amen. the glorify our Father which is in heaven. Mm. I listen to um 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 Reverend Paula. Yes, you know. Say, and 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 she preach she preaching as a spiritual teacher. Amen. Because that's what I have her as a spiritual teacher Bless and, God. A, and a spiritual guidance counselor. Bless a God. temporal teacher and a temporal guidance counselor. Amen. All right. right. Well, thank you but, for you, yes. yeah. Did you have something else to add? You know, you know but, but you know, my my song, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want victory, victory. Hold on to your victory. Hold on to your victory. The victory is in Jesus. Hold on to the victory. Amen. Because the victory is in Christ Jesus. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. And the Lord shall not want. God bless you. The, the, the song, that's what the song Sing. I always listen to that song. Amen. Hold on to the victory. Amen. God, the victory is in Christ Jesus. My God. Thank you God very much. You. Donna, God bless you. God bless you. Reverend Paula. Amen. And, 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 and the sister from out of the UK. And Pastor Debbie and as well. Mm-hmm. Pastor Debbie as well. Mm-hmm. All of them. My God. I, you know, two children, two children of God. They are true children of God. Mm-hmm. But you have some of us who oh, 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 professed it, um, Christianity. Mm-hmm. Um, right? I'm not, I'm not showing any stone at anyone. But some of us, we profess Christianity. Mm-hmm. And we need, to, we need to trouble Zion. Mm-hmm. We, some of us are children of God. We need to trouble Zion. Mm-hmm. Because Zion, it is a key. It is a real key and a key of truth to open sinners' eyes. All right. All right. So you do your part in the troubling, you know? That is why yeah. you are here. So you will have to do your troubling, you yes, know, yes, because, yes, you know. I, I, always try, yes. I always try to trouble Zion. Mm-hmm. If you know, I always, I, always, I always come up with a gospel song, you know. Yes. Even if it sounds so funny, mm-hmm. but I am, I, 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 I am, I am, I am trying. I always try. Amen. And that's, all you, do. And that is, and that all you can do. And that is, and that is all you can do. Amen. Why won't we worry, Zion? For Zion have a key to open sinners' eyes. Why won't we trouble Zion? Um, Children of God, why won't we trouble Zion? Why won't we trouble Zion? Zion have a key to open sinners' eyes. Why won't we trouble Zion? God bless Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. God bless Hallelujah. you. God bless you. God bless Mighty you. God Thank you very much, Uncle Trevor. Thank you very much. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.
And I must say thank you to Reverend Paula for highlighting some of the the mistake that has that that this generation or, or past generation has the words, you know, the words that we let me say good afternoon to Missionary Sunshine. And I did see Jen Jen. Good afternoon to you, Minister Ralph. Good afternoon to you, Missionary Sunshine Sunshine. Grace Baker, good afternoon to you. Paul, good afternoon to you as well. It is indeed a pleasure. We're right there on the top of the hour. Stay with me. We have one more go to go. I wish somebody would have cared some dinner for me. <laughs> I'm hungry now, but one more hour to go. So stay with me. It's fasting time. It's fasting time. So Reverend Paula, I want to thank you. And there's so many others, um, verses in the Bible that has been misconstrued and turned and, and shaped into um, to, to man's version. And if you know any, you can call. Now, I'm heading into my final hour. This is when you call. If you do want to call, the telephone number is 718-569-6622. You can participate on what you heard, the the, the front part, the, the 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 back part, and if you want to um, agree or disagree, if you agree or disagree, or if you want to be in the middle. What I have come to understand and learned is this: that especially our culture, we have a problem with people disagreeing with us. It's no no worries if a person disagree with you. It's that that person's responsibility or that is that person's opinion we can agree to disagree but we don't have to fight or go to war at it the thing about it is that we disagree and we have our opinion and we refuse good afternoon good afternoon again auntie dana i I just want to make one point um we have have evangelists her name, she, 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 Diane Garno. She got, she, she gone home to God call her home. She was named, um, Evangelist McPherson. I tell you, I, I, I tell you, the man, I, I, I tell you, you know, in those days, and she have a, she have like a cane, you know, the cane with teacher. Mm-hmm. But, but, but teacher used to have in, 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 in those days. No, no, if a child of God is skylarking and she say, don't let her give you this cane. Don't let. You could in those time you could you could you could whip a person. You Listen to me, Uncle Trevor. No, me, me, I have not near man. <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> Listen to me, man. No, you cannot do that. And she and she said, Come. She said, she said, um, children of God, come on. Don't come in the church. Don't come in the church and warm and and and, 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 and warm the bench. God really? don't want no warm bench. Mm-hmm. And 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 at the, the time, yeah, the gold skin tambourine, them, mm-hmm. the gold skin tambourine, and the drum, gold skin tambourine, are whistling out, and 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 all time gas gas for song is rolling, and she said, "Come on, no children of God, trample the devil, stamp those feet, mash up those shoes." What Jesus is Jesus giving her the strength uh-huh. to work the money and buy it, and you can buy back more, and I said. Your, 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 your shoes are trump your, your shoes are a cry out from the, from the ground, you know, and the, okay. uh, Donna. All right. Oh, well, point well mind. taken. Point well taken. God bless you. I can agree to disagree because if anybody think they're going to lick me in a church, me and them, because if they're going to lick me, me going to lick them back. If Those anybody ever was, thinks that they can't come Donna. lick me, me not nah, take no lick. Those days was church. Those so, days was church. Okay. So you don't I want somebody lick you now in a church if you not you don't want somebody lick your uncle Trevor? Yes, if I'm not if I'm baby. Uncle, uncle Trevor tap in there. Like <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. If, the, the, if, 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 if I'm baby no water. No. Ma- ma- ch- yeah, yeah, but no, but no, but no take whip him. But no take no whip and lick me, man. Talk to me like me, 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 me seeing somebody. Yes, but but talk to you and you do not and you and you don't hear. You have some ch- you have some child of God. They 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 stop on head. Oh they Lord Jesus, head. Lord, I thank you. Ah, uh, Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, Uncle Trevor. Let me play two songs. I have a little miss. God bless you. Let me say good afternoon to you, Sister Lucy Williams. Sister Lucy Williams, beat ooh, 
make somebody ever miss a beat. Oh, no, sir. Let me play this song. Yes, moderately. Don't get to this one. The telephone number is 718-569-6622. See slogan. Advertising, I do a know a wire. Every time them come in at the church, come pray, them a show our breast leg and tie. Me, I see. Dear breast leg and tie. Dear breast leg and tie. Every time some come in at the church, come pray, them a show our breast leg and tie. Me, I see. Dear breast leg and tie. Come up. Dear breast leg and tie. Good afternoon and welcome. Thanks for calling. Dave. To me again, I'm Sidona. Yes, Sidona. Wow, what a program. Miss no, man. Mm-hmm. The Lord just so wonderful. You guys are so human. My God. You said we're all for worship. My God. So, uh, Mama just uh, always appear. Uh, what a what purpose here. No, man. Clothes ourselves. This is, a, this is an, um, yeah, exactly. This is a program where, you know, one of those programs where I said, you know, we as believers have to listen it over and over and just, you know, adapt to the principles Thank and you. the doctrine of God. Thank you. So it is very, very, very profound words. Yeah. Yes. You know, we need to put into action. Gonna but evoke this our was emotion. An extraordinary it even. Sure I didn't get was. I didn't get to listen fully the interview because I had class. But, you know, just chipping in and out, mm-hmm. I hear, I can see the mighty move of God and, you know, the expression on that young lady face. Yes. I mean, God is truly amazing. Mm. I get chills. Oh, amazing. glory to yes, God. Man. Oh, yes, God. Man, mm. just see your smile and they don't even know I tell you. half of it of what you have been through I tell for you. you to see. Smile, but I tell you. as I said, Auntie Donna, keep up the good work. I know a lot who have listened to this program today are find hope, yes. they are find strength, you know. And they listen, how we didn't lives. know, we really didn't know that you know, Miss Nurse Taylor would have needed a word like that. Oh my, I didn't get to even listen to Nurse, Nurse Taylor. Taylor you, you will have to go back and to listen to the replay. Yes. This is one program where I said, you know, I have to catch the repeat because, you know, the move of God was mighty, mighty. Thank this, you. this afternoon. So oh continue to do the work of God. Continue to, you know. Thank you very much. Live by the word. It was indeed a God powerful bless you. evening. Thank you. God bless God you. God bless you. And, Thank you, Sidani. And all the listeners and all the, um, the person who take part. God bless you. Yes. God. God bless you. God bless you. Thank okay. you very much, my niece. I want to say good afternoon to Tracy White. Welcome, Tracy, wherever you're viewing from. It is indeed a pleasure to have you. I considered you as an honored guest. Let me say good afternoon to 97. Good night, 97.3, Unity with Love Radio, Dr. Apostle Michael Paul Bennett and Lady Renee Bennett. Good afternoon to you and Mother Wilby as you popped up in my spirit. How you do? Mama Wilby, good afternoon to you. Likewise, Mother Ita, all the radio mothers, you know yourself. Mother Liz, Mother Ashley, Mother Azel, all of you who are locked and just listening. I hope on will never turn me down. May I wonder? <laughs> Bala Ozzy has been quiet but I know you're out there in the ocean my nephew ladies and gentlemen remember to join me tomorrow um, where my kids are going to be coming out and I am anxious it's Wednesday it's when we have Wednesday school day so let me say thank you thank each and every one of you for sitting with me for the last four hours and we have another hour almost to go and i would just want to show my appreciation let me play some song and if you do want to call and participate uh you are part of the show feel free to do so just moderately don't get to this one it's never gotten to here you know some Christian lady at KFC slogan yeah. Advertising I do a know a wire Every time them come in at the church come pray Them a show a breast leg and tie Me a see Dear breast leg and tie Come up Dear breast leg and tie you. Every time some- Let me tell you something you know You know you know. I have to put a little humor in it Molly you're going to love this one Because no, it's not breast leg and tie You know them have to put the abdomen in at it 
breast, abdomen, legs, and thigh. Breast, ab, oh no, abdomen, a buttocks. Breast, buttocks, legs, and thigh. Yes. Yeah, let me like chicken back. Yeah, mm hmm. But when you jump up, me no say your skirt, them a fi pass your ankle, but if you at least pass your knee up. Because it's a botox season. <laughs> it is botox, Mama Paula. It is botox season. <laughs> you dial in the wrong number, Molly. It's seven one eight five six nine six six two two. So you come as yeah, nothing no wrong. But when you get safe and become Christian, put away KFC so bad. It's hey, breast, buttocks, legs, and tie. Breast, buttocks, legs, and tie. No. We need to upgrade this song. Because it is buttock season. Good afternoon and welcome. Dana. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at me, Auntie Dana. Be gooder. <laughs> yes, darling. Well, I just want to tell you something that Reverend Paula, that's my type of pastor, you know. The wow. old time religion pastor. Mm. Not the new modern days pastor. Right? Mm -hmm. You remember we had that, we had this topic before, you know, about render your art and not your garment. Mm -hmm. And I remember one lady was really upset with me because I said, when you are convicted, right? Yes. It doesn't matter how you go into church, right? How you get saved. You mm -hmm. get saved in your shorts or your pajama or your nightgown. It's change. okay. It's okay, but. Once you're convicted, you change. Gotta Your own change. conviction should tell you that. When you're going in the house of the Lord, you can't go in your bathing suit anymore. Mm -mm. And somebody remarks was like, people like me, that's why we don't want to go to church. Mm -hmm. But when you become a child of God, it's not everything is accepted, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And she was right. The Bible tells you you're in the world, but you're not of the world, right? You have to live the life so that others can see that your light can shine, right? Yeah. For example, you're on the radio mm -hmm. four days a week, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you wasn't living the life, you know what I would do? I would just kiss my teeth when I hear your command and just shut off my phone. I wouldn't want to hear you none at all. Let's go. Right? Let's go. But you live the light, light, mm -hmm. you're preaching it, mm -hmm. right? And people is happy with what you're doing, right? Glory to God. So I believe in everything that that lady is saying. I love that woman. When she's talking, if you drop a pin, you don't hear because I don't want no noise around me mm -hmm. because she's the old time religion pastor that's like when i was going to church when i was going to church mm -hmm. i was raised in a seven day church i got church hot mm -hmm. and fiery mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and when i go to church i sit at the back of the church because guess what the church was so hot mm -hmm. that when you go to church you're afraid that your pastor is going to come down off the pulpit and put you before the altar to pray mm -hmm. because I did something wrong at school. Or I have a little boyfriend that, you know, I'm getting involved with and mm -hmm. they could see that I'm changing. Mm -hmm. These pastors nowadays, they don't see anything. <laughs> they don't see anything. They don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. They don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You go to church and you your whole underwear is showing mm -hmm. and they enjoy looking at it. There's nobody to say, this is not the way to come in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Even those who sit on the 
pulpit with the pastor. When they sit down, you're seeing everything. Uh, and you know, nobody I don't, I, you know, like if, if someone is out there and they're not saved and they are listening to this conversation and they may think, you know, that's why I'm not going to church. This message was really and truly not for you. This, the message that was presented by Reverend Paula and you're hearing Molly speak about is for those who call themselves sea of sanctified children of God, who knows God and know how to, should know God, let me correct that, and should know how to present themselves. But they're it, not course, because not, I remember when I first got saved, I didn't know the rules and the regulation. I, my, I didn't buy church clothes. My my skirts were above my knee. You understand? So mm -hmm. but once I, I became and I, I know that the Lord changed the way of dressing. So my way of dressing, I realized that I was not comfortable wearing say, certain clothes, even to this day i am exactly. not comfortable presenting myself clothes. you know in certain way i don't have spandex clothes because i don't want my body parts showing sure. so i you know all of my clothes must have sleeves on it some of them must have color and that is my conviction yeah. you understand it's a distraction Auntie Dana, because i'm telling you something mm -hmm. one new year's night mm -hmm. I didn't have a home church, so yeah. I felt like that New Year's night, I want to go to church, mm -hmm. right? And I got up, I get dressed, and I went to church. And I'm positive as the pastor wife. She was on the pulpit, and mm -hmm. she has a pants on that night, mm -hmm. right? And the church was on fire. Mm -hmm. And I could make out every vein in that woman's vagina <laughs> and her bottom. I'm not lying to you. Oh my God. That's how tight that pants was, right? I could see her breast. Her breast was huge, and the top that she had on, the breast was pulping out of it. And I, it was such a distraction for me, right? And when I went inside my van, I finished the church, and I went inside my van, and I said, God, forgive me if I'm wrong, Right? But I'm telling you, the whole night I'm focusing on that lady. I said, what example is she setting for me? Mm -hmm. And I never went back to that church. I, know. I never went back to that church. Because it's not the fact that you cry out, Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus, help me, help me. Pam, pam, pam with the tambourine or whatever. It's the life that you live, the seed that you sow. Um, could right? you hold on a second for me? Don't hang up. Call a candy hold. Yes, yes, Molly. Yes, and uh, you know, some people may say, then why I look at a woman for you? Should I focus on God? But no, we, we, we're not supposed to defend. There you go. If defend. you talk to somebody about it, Anna, they're going to say, render your heart and not your garment. But it's so not, but it's wrong. Right. It's red. <laughs> you I'm understand. To her, but they use it very often. Exactly. Render your heart and not your garment. Right. Everybody said that. And it is incorrect because that is not biblical. So let me take the next call and hear what else is on the other person's mind. God okay. bless you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good afternoon and thank you for calling. Positive praise. Good evening again, Auntie Dana. Good evening to you, Minister Benz. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. And good evening to my Auntie Paula. Mm -hmm. Powerful words. Amen. I just came in and I sit here. Good evening, Dr. Benny. First lady Benny. Good evening to the Margan. Hello, Fergus. Good evening. Good evening to Brother George and his family. Good evening, DJ Rary, Pastor Tanya, Mama Chungi. Good evening, Radio Land. I sit here, Auntie Dana, and I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And that young lady does she just speak and she speaks. Hold on a second. Good afternoon, Carla. Kindly hold. Yes, go ahead. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. It's not all the times the pastor can see, and it's not all the time the pastor is going to see everything. That's why he are the ministers, ushers, evangelists in the church to oversee when he is not seeing. And I see a lot of times those things happen, and that's why we always have white sheep. I remember before Doc, when Dr. Bennett first started his church, he hired me as the head usher, Auntie Dana. 
And when you train for the people, them sometimes a lot of them, their clothes will roll, fall over their head. And we have to run the case and cover them with the sheet. Yes, a lot of times we see less legs, bread and left legs, breasts and tie come in the church and we try to give them the sheet to cover up. But then it's like we insult them. They vex over it at the dinner. They don't want to take the sheet at the dinner. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, you know, all the times, Pastor, but let's put this this way, Pastor Bennett up on the pulpit and Pastor Bennett preaching the word of God. We are the ones who have to watch out and see what's going wrong in the church. That is what he ordered us to know, to watch over the church. Amen. 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 I saw it, you know. There's a lot of time I saw it. Yes. Because even when, as I said, I was, as I was at Ed Usher in there, people vexed with me, people cussed me out. And tell me, so then I want a white sheet with you over there. But when they see the breast leg and tie me, me case, I'm going to give them it. No, Amen. Amen. All right. Point well taken and noted. So I'm going to take another call. Let's see here, see if we can God get as much you, call. Aunt. Absolutely. God bless, God you. bless you too. Good afternoon, caller. Thank you for holding. Good afternoon, Auntie. Good afternoon, um, mi- missionary Sunshine. Sunshine. Good afternoon to you. A wonderful, blessed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I, I um, I wish I had called in before Molly. <laughs> wow. Because Molly was saying, remember we had this topic before. Yes. Hold on a second. Yeah. Let me greet someone. I want to say good afternoon to Ratcliffe Allwood. Good afternoon, my Linky Linky in about a bottle's Chris and Bon Grung, Jamaica. Big up on herself, the Allwood family. Speedy recovery to your mama. God bless her. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Minister, um, missionary Ralph, go ahead. And yeah, we remember. Yeah, remember Molly. We had this topic before, mm-hmm. and. Just as Reverend Paula was uh, um, exalting, uh, my husband brought it to my attention. Mm-hmm. You know, remember we had this topic before? Wow. And uh, I was saying ABC and someone disagrees with me. Same mm-hmm. thing the Reverend is saying there. Yes. And I said, yes, that is so very true. Mm-hmm. And and a lot of times I'm so happy when Reverend brought out the point how the... the um, the context of the scripture is so misused. Yes. A lot of times, render your heart and not your garment. It's not That's in the there. excuse is not in there. It's not in the Bible, you all. It's not. It's not in the it's Word not. of God. It's not in the Word of God. My and God. I, I think that, I, I think as Christians, we, we know that we are to adorn ourselves. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at times, some get carried away. You know, and, um, you know, and slacken up a, a bit, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I think um, who um, it's been referred to is we Christian, is the way uh, we that's go exactly what I said. That's exactly you what know? I said. So if, if you have an altar call and um, sinners, you know, newcomers, visitors come to the altar mm-hmm. and they're not properly dressed. You know, mm-hmm. the example, they, the, the, mm-hmm. the example that we as Christians should, uh, should be setting, should be Set contagious, uh, you know, uh, 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 contagious. And they, oh, I like that. I mean, we're not saying you must dress like all woman and whatnot, whatnot. No, but, but you have no. so many variation of modesty that yeah. we can adapt to for our body type. You know, we're the one supposed to set the tone, you know. Absolutely. We are the one. And I I heard Minister Benzie, like uh, Minister Benz, I love so much. And I says, the pastor is supposed to see, you know. The pastor (laughs) is. The pastor is supposed to miss some things, you know. And that's why they sit on top of the rostrum. They, to they see up. everything, but as as so Rev would say, that them cut them, some of them cut their eyes. We're not gonna say put put all of them in that same barrel. Right. But, but you know, you know, they see. They see. But they you see. know, their thing as and as I said, this is not for unsafe. This no. converse, just like what Pastor Debbie said, her message was not for unsafe. It's for, no. and you know, I love Sidonie Roberts because she remembers everything. You know, mm. this is not for unsafe. This is for the believers. This is for the for church us. that is messing mm-hmm. up. You that know, so 
very true. This is for the church. Good afternoon to you, Evangelist Lashanda Whitaker out of Jamaica. Good afternoon to you. And and and, and I, I hope I pray that these messages don't fall on stones, you know, because our even though like Reverend Paula was saying, she said, I might sound repetitive. But I pray, and I said in my heart, I hope that, you know, these words germinate and grow. It's for us to learn and to grow and to take a stand and make sure we don't fall back and fall into mm -hmm. diverse temptation and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Because we need to be reminded at times, because it is true, it's a problem in the church. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Some Christians can really get carried away with that. And it's very true. Yeah, and now it's the tight, there's a buttocks. The first time it was legs, le mm -hmm. oh, you know, breasts, legs, and tie. No, Belly it's chicken bottom. I guess Kent of K KFC yeah. must have said chicken bottom <laughs> now. Chicken <laughs> bottom must have been seal. No such yeah, case. No. <laughs> because now the spandex tight and it's the shape and the size of I the know. buttocks that is out there. Like, you know, so chicken bottom. KFC. I, I wonder if KFC had chicken bottom. You no, know? We, we really ought to take mind of these things. Absolutely. You know? Don't take them lightly. Absolutely. And adorn ourselves. I remember when we had that subject before mm -hmm. uh elder um Stuart, Stuart was was there mm -hmm. and i was uh sharing the uh the book of um esther mm -hmm. when esther went before the king oh yes yeah how she had done she looked for her best the bible said the, her best apparel you know her best attire the best robe she put yes. on yes right? And 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 when we look at at God is mm -hmm. our King. When we are going to his house, dress we are going to meet our King. Dress royal. Real man. How, you know, how you dress when you go when you go before the Queen and the King? It, you dress in royalty. You know, one thing you I know? can say from my foundation, and I'm I'm so happy that that was my foundation at Bronx Miracle Gospel Tabernacle with um, mm. Rabbi Keith Elijah Thompson. You mm. know, I got it. Dress royally. Mm -hmm. So my dress clothes, royal. I was always some long things, and I would go mm -hmm. to these bridal stores and get the 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 the, the, the dresses, wedding dress. Mm -hmm. But I would cut the top off, mm -hmm. and then I would make long skirts, mm -hmm. and then find a jacket or a nice top to go with it. You know, because okay. I wasn't going to advertise some breasts and some arms. You know, mm -hmm. you know. Well, it, it, you know, some Auntie Nana, Christianity yes. is royalty, you know. Absolutely. So talk, I was dressing, talk, and I talk, know the church royal, that I was in. Royal, yeah. Everything about Christianity is royalty. I got looked down. We, I got looked down on uh, for the way I was dressed. Oh, she dressed so every day, every every Sunday, she come here, she in a long frock like she go wedding. Yes, uh, I'm a king. Yes, and, I'm a king. That's right. God is our king. Yeah, me ask me not, we, if we, me drop a grung, if me drop a grung on a nasty nothing. <laughs> 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 you know, unlike you, we drop a grung the whole on everybody out there, the entire chicken out there. Naked as a dates born. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a very good topic, very good subject, very explicit. He could not be clearer. And like uh, uh, Molly says, mm -hmm. when Reverend Paula comes on, you don't even want the pin to drop. You don't want to miss a word. You don't want to. And, you know, and you don't want to miss a syllable. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm so happy that she's given <laughs> every day. I said, Lord, I thank you. I, I really Amen. and truly am humble and saying, God, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Coming from, from, from someone who is going to be 80 years old, you know, I Amen. thank God. So, God bless her. So thank you, God woman of God. Her. We're going to play oh. back some old time something. Amen. Um, to God, be the, to God be the glory. God bless you, missionary bless Ralph. You. Amen. Minister Taj Blake reach and wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Good afternoon and welcome. Evangelist Ralph, you know I love you too, my love. No slow love coming from Minister Ben's Evangelist Ralph to you and the family. God mm. bless you, Auntie Dana. She know I love her so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. God bless you. God bless you, Thank my you. aunt. Yes. God bless you. 
I want to greet none other than Donit Swearing, Miss Donit Swearing out of St. Catherine, Jamaica. Welcome. What can wash away? My Jamaican people, I love when you know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me all again? Nothing but the blood of and Minister Benz, I was a usher to you know, and some of them people there who you see no one cup up in other white she, it's intentional, you hear me? Them come for sure or something. Them are sure somebody something. Because they know the spirit that they have. Jesus. They are so intentional. And that is why as Christians and child of God or children of God and believers of God that you have the spirit of discernment to know when to do things and how to do things so that it does not affect your peace believer walk right in and take your seat believer walk right in take your seat I'm going home on the morning train The message was for the believers, those who believe that Christ really changed you. I'm going home. I'm going home on the morning train. So let me say thank you. Pray for me. I pray for Every single one of you. You pray for me. Miss Lynn. I pray for you. Miss Elsa. You pray for me. I pray for you. Why don't you pray for me? I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home on the morning train. Evening train may be too late. I'm going home on the morning train. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Tanya, how are you doing? I love you too, darling. I love you. Come on, church. Singing glory, hallelujah, when the fire came. Oh, Jesus. We're almost there. Hold on with me. 30 more minutes to go. Hallelujah, when the fire came. And the Lord said, I just want to love upon you. Sister Dorothy Reed listening silently. God bless you. Let me say good afternoon to you, Jenny Big Tune. I want you to know that there is a, a cutoff point when it regards to telephone calls. So this is the good time for you to call. If you are listening and you want to call in, this is the time to call. I want to thank every single one of you. For spending the time with me and for us to spend the time together. You know how I appreciate your time. And if you're on the blog, I'm asking you just to say something so I can make it easy for Auntie Donna to just greet you. Gracie. Molly. Ensign. Done it, Dorothy, Debbie, Colleen, Barbie, Kaya. Say something so I can greet you, man. Say something. And if you did not share, this is a great time to do so. 
Sunshine, Christine, oh Jesus, done it. And I know Lily's out there and Trevor. I want to thank the participants of today's presentation. Susie, Tajay, happy anniversary to you, BBB, Triple B, Brendalyn Broomfield, Blake, and the Blake Couple. Give me that old time religion. Come on. Old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old. Good afternoon and welcome. Glory, hallelujah, when the fire came. And <laughs> Sanctify me. All right. All right. Glory, hallelujah, when the fire came. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Yes. I wish those days could come back. Yeah, it there, yeah, man. It there. You just not find it. You're probably in the wrong spot. You're in the wrong spot. It's reaching enough. God have to bring it forward. Yeah, man. It there, yeah, man. It there. You're just in the wrong spot. As Bala, as you say. As Bala, as you say. Good afternoon, Bala, as you say. Hey, Bala, as you say. Bala, as you say. You're just sitting on a smile and meditate. And I say, yeah, man. I'm going to have to do the talking. Make somebody else do it. Good afternoon, Minister Ben. Yes, man. All right. God bless you, Uncle. Thank you very much. God bless you much. Give me that old time religion. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Come on, people of God. Give me that old Deslin. Give me that old You have been silently listening, but I want to call your name, so say something. Say something. Thank you for silently listening. Give me that old time religion. Oh, yes. Old time religion. It's good enough for me. Well, it was good for my dead father. Well, it was good. good. It's good enough for me. Father, I need it. Sister, I need it. Let me say good afternoon to Shirley, Lilith, and Dawn. Sidoni Della. Hey. How can I forget Natalie? Give me that old time religion. Old time religion. Old time. Veronica Martin. Good afternoon to you. Everybody. Everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Nakisha Adams. Welcome. Come clap your hands. Oh, yeah. And we got to say good afternoon to Paulette out of the UK. You know, I like it. Yes, I like it. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. Sister Paulina Cope, you were here too. Good afternoon to you. Give me that old time. You know I love Anella. It was good for my dear father. For my dear father. How about humble God child and Althea Johnson? Give me that old time religion. Give me that old my sister Sophia Green is in the house. Well, it was good for Paul and Silas. Oh, yeah. It was Beverly, thank you. Good. It's good enough for me. I need that old. Shit, I need it. Oh, yeah. Let me say good afternoon to Chris Posey Williams. Happy birthday, Chris. Are you still here? Oh, Jesus. Chris, I didn't see that. Happy birthday to you, Chris. And the messenger was here, Brother George. Good afternoon to you. Leonie White, big up yourself. How about you, Imara? It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. 
it's good enough for me. Give me that old Ruth Lynn Jones. Good afternoon to you. Give it to me. Give it. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, yes. It was good. Kalisha King was in the house as well. Everybody. Come to hell. Everybody, put your hands together. It was good for Paul and Simon. It was good for Paul and Simon. Oh, yeah. Cup your hands, yo. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. And Sister Lucy. And also Vero was here. How are you doing, Vero? Christine, good afternoon to you. Oh, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you will hear me live is tomorrow, Wednesday, from 3 to 6 p.m. with my kiddos. I must tell you that each time I come out and, you know, the Lord will have me out here, it is only to give him praise and glory. Uh, my cousin, Linton, Linton was in the house too. Linton Powell out of Jamaica. Good afternoon to you, Gracie Baker, Lucy. Big up on herself. Big up on herself. If I didn't call you, I don't see your name. Sit on it. Big up yourself. You're always on time and you're always on target. Good afternoon to you, Kaya. Good afternoon to you. She said it's always a positive vibes. Indeed, it is. <laughs> And for the silent listeners out there listening, I hope that whatever was presented, it was good to your soul and your body as well. Let me thank all of the presenters. From the opening prior with Susie Banu out of Canada to Pastor Debbie out of Nigeria. And to my guest this afternoon, her name is Alizia Wells out of UK. I want to thank Nurse Taylor. And of course, I want to thank Reverend Paula. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. You realize it's several different continents and several different countries, and every single one of them was lining up. You know I like it. I'm not questioning God. I saw the thing said. It was good for my dear Nigeria. The UK, Canada, and the US. Oh, and we're all going back to the heart of worship. And worshiping will cost you. You have to know that worship will cost you. When you are worshiping the true and living God, it will cost you. You will have to lay everything down. So if you are a smoker, you're going to have to lay it down if you want to worship God. If you are a drug abuser, man beater, a man taker, anything, you're going to, if you, you can't worship God, you cannot worship God with those things happening. For my dear mother, it was good for my dear mother, it was good for my dear mother. You see, because everything God made was good in the beginning, and he said it's still going to be good in the end. And to worship God, you need good and better time management. Make time for God because he's always there waiting for you. And most importantly, it's important to make peace with your pieces. Make peace with your pieces. And I love this one. Smile because you can. Makes me want to shout. Makes me want to sing. Yes, Lord. And with that, I want to say goodbye. And thank you. Yes, Sister Lucy, you have to make peace with your pieces. In order for me to be on camera, I have to make peace with my lips. I have to make peace with my lips. 
Seriously, on a can laugh if on a one, but made it up to make peace with the facts. Eh? My lips, them humongous. No Satan is on my track. And I don't want nobody call and talk about that. But Jesus and I, we've got a good thing going on. It's not a problem, you know, but if you don't make peace with it, you think everybody's at war with you. If you don't make peace with yourself, you're going to believe that everybody's at war with you. So please make peace in your pieces or with your pieces. God bless you, my sister Gracie. My Jesus and I, we've got a good thing going on. Make we rock out of air. Yeah. Jesus and I, we've got a good thing going on. Remember, this is summertime for those of us living in the northeast quadrant of the United States of America. Get some sun. Going on. Satan. Give me pause, let me praise my God. Oh, Jesus. Give me pause, let me praise my God. Hoopa God. Give me pause, let me praise my God. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Give me pause, let me praise my God. Oh, Jesus. Give me pause, let me praise my God. And remember, you have to protect your peace. I, I am a proponent of that. I think I have a video. I may post it a little later. <laughs> that you're going to have to protect your peace. You, uh, uh, let me tell you something. ADT, Life Lock, are the satellite dish and all them are set up camera by your house. <laughs> you have to protect your own, your peace. We've got a good thing going on. All right. Che my Jesus, Jesus and I, we've got a good thing going on. Jesus and, I, and remember, you have to make peace with your pieces. No, is on my track. Silence is a weapon. Hey, you see, for me, say silence is a weapon. Not say a word. Peace is also one of the weapons as well. Just allow the Lord to educate you in whatever way he wants you to. I'm not just telling you. The Lord educate me. The Lord educate me to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm no genius at this. I don't know. And if he's done it for me, I guarantee you, you have to trust him that he'll do it for you. <laughs> Uncle Wagwan. <laughs> Uncle Wagwan. What? You see the you play a while ago. Give me a pass with my priest, my God. I'm a mother, I remember, you know. And my mother used to love my mother even she she had sing it, you know. Give me a pass with my priest, my God. All right, let me pull it up for you. Pull it up back, man. All right. I love him, you know. I love it. I love Uncle Trevor, man. Jesus Uncle Donald. Wally. Pops. Where are they? I hope Pops good. Pops, I hope you're all right. Do you hear? But on the I love that song, you know. My Jesus and I have a good thing going on. My Jesus and I, we've got a good thing going on. And remember what the minister well said. She says, stay focused. You, you know the problem with some of us? We get distracted too easily. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello, Auntie Dan. How are you? I am good. Well, I'm going to tell us that statement now you make. If you don't have peace within yourself, you think everybody at war with you. Oh, I, I mean, I hope me not know. Me not know. Oh, it is. Huh? Oh, it is. Deacon Sergeant. The, eh, hey! <laughs> God, eh? Yeah, but say, if you're not have peace with yourself, you think everybody at war with you, my brother. <laughs> huh? Huh? You want to fight everybody. You want to fight everybody. You ain't at war with everybody. Everything but you. 
Go get some peace, bin, man. Go get broke up. Been there done. Been there done that, man. <laughs> what, eh? What has to, eh? So true. You think that people are talk about you. think that people are full of you. You think that, eh? That's true. And people are look for you and admire you. You think that they're chat to you. You know, you don't make peace with yourself. <laughs> That's what that's what you say. There's not like a piece of mind. And you know, it took me years. To and that. I always say that once I can get a piece of mind, yes. then everything else came peaceful. That's true. My God. You know, I, I, I was someplace recently and Mr. Two Lady and them are chat me, you know. And mm-hmm. then I said, I chat me good, good chat, you know. Because I don't know them. Mm-hmm. Oh, them figure bad, bad chat me. So I just go yeah, up to man. them and say, I want to chat me. Say, hear them. Hear them now. I like your dress. I said, you know, like Whoa. my ear. She said, me like your ear too. I said, said, look on the slippers. You know, like the slippers. She said, Jesus, me never see the slippers. Me like the slippers too. And Whoa. right there, we make some friends. Uh, true. Y- because you see, we, we are led to think that um, People... <laughs> if you don't have peace, you all let things say something negative. Not true. You don't understand. So we go and we say, the wall of the chair, we bust up a piece of talking. You see, she and her friend are chat Whoa. me. And we go over there and say, well, I chat my father. She said, we well, admire your ear. I say, you know, like the frog. She said, me, like, me did that tab on the frog. And I look down on my foot. And I say, you know, like the slippers. So they say, yes, me like the slippers too. And we, all three of us just have a good old laugh. You have natural therapeutical skills within you from the from the throne of God because I tell you, you know me, I was here and I, me, I laughed to myself. Me, I, me said I want to lick, you know. <laughs> but the yeah? good thing about it, when you can put look for myself first and yes. say, afford me I come from another thing, say, yes. no, we can look for some other people. <laughs> I believe it's alone. And I figure out how to deal with the situation. Not sure. Simple as that. We mm-hmm. must have the, the tools so that we can win. We a must, true. as children of God, we must have the tools so we can win. And I'm not going to peace because if you don't, if you, if you don't have no peace, if you, not yourself, listen we to all you all give peace. You have to make peace we with your give. pieces. As me tell you, my brother, me, me never used to wear lipstick. Me wearing lipstick, and me I overcome my, I make peace with myself because me grew up and them cost me about my big lips and all of that. And now yes. everybody want big lips. That is not the point. The point oh, is yes. because I was damaged as a child to think that what I have was bad. You understand? Yes. So yes. now I had I have to make peace with the fact that it now go get smaller and everybody wants yes. it. <laughs> and then you then the seat and then and then and then. When you look at your heart, you are the best thing going on. And everybody it's wants true. it. So, so you, you have to make peace with yourself, people of God. So that, you know, you know, you, everybody look by you, you know, things that them, them, them worry in you. You know, you have to make peace with yourself in order. If you're not Whoa. at peace, you're at war. And you, you, everything better you. Everybody says something to you better you. You lose your joy. You show, show them how you, you chase it, spin like a cat, chasing tail, and can't, and can't get it. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. That, oh, you that, know. that one, they really, that one, they really, me like how you, you, you pulled me out and I want to become a tell you, I was so tied up doing something, but you know, when it's time to move, I have to move because mm-hmm. that one day, that mm-hmm. when I need to be spoken underneath somebody's roof, somebody's okay. building. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're not awesome. peace with yourself, that peer war you're going with, you think everybody are war you. Me, not a soul are war me because me so comfortably in my peace with myself. Let me tell you something. Me not have, you know, <laughs> let me give myself to a massage. It's, give, a, give it's, me, a, it's a great thing. Love. Give, love give my love to your beautiful wife and your son, won't you? Same thing to your husband and the family. All right. God bless really you, my like brother. Love. Thank you for the love. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, Jesus. We're almost there. We're almost there. Mighty God, I want to thank you for how you showed up this afternoon and showed up. I have heard I want to thank you, mighty God, for everything that took place. Every caller, every listener, radio listeners, social media listeners. I want to thank you, mighty God, for them. Your promises are always true. Your promises are always true. You never go back by your word, mighty God. You don't regurgitate your word, mighty God. You come true all the time and it just cuts. Tis a land where we'll never grow. Help me sing. Never. I was.
will give you a call highly. Yes, baby. It's all well. Sarah Michelle, thank you for coming on the end, uh, back end of it. But thank you for coming. Give me 15 minutes, Ali. I'll be with you. So, mighty God, you have already showed up and showed out how you can work within your people. You are not the God of confusion. And God, you there was no confusion this afternoon. Everything worked out the way you wanted it to work out. It was perfectly set up by you. So I give God, give you thanks, mighty God, for all those who presented. Reverend Paula, Pastor Debbie, Minister Wells, Susie, the listeners, the callers. I give you thanks for them, mighty God. Continue to use us, God, as a unit. So set us apart, mighty God. Remind us that it is not about the crowd. It's all about how we worship you. The things that we have given up just to worship you. Because, God, you deserve the glory. You deserve our worship. Remind your people, God, that the last gift your son left with us is the gift of peace. Highlight peace into our heart, in our lives, into our homes, into our surrounding, on our job, mighty God. Let us know that this peace is a gift. Seek after this peace. Run down this kind of peace that make you complicated. You don't understand it. And even in our brokenness, mighty God, we still find joy so we can smile because you said the joy of the Lord will strengthen us. And on the back end, because we are strong, we can smile. So mighty God, I thank you for strengthening us so the muscles in our cheeks can be flexed and smile so we can bless others with your joy just because we can smile ladies and gentlemen i want you to keep it locked right here on positive radio for none other than bishop gavin sydney campbell out of 127 um winward road jamaica He's coming up right here on 90 and 106.9 on the FM band positive radio. If you want to hear Bible, keep it locked. Bishop Campbell is Bible man. So it continues. It really and truly continues. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mommy. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, Mommy. I'm just calling you, you know what I mean? Love the shout out you make for me this evening, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because things was so down with me all day, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. And it's just like you come across, and it's just like, I sent you the blessing and heal up the whole year as much as the sick oh. and things still. Oh, bless you. she have a stroke, she was a gun, you know? Yes. But you don't know until then. I mm. Respect for your blessing and your shout out and your rate, you see? Blessing. Uh, I just want love, auntie. I love that. I love it. From the bottom of my heart, here. Yeah? Thank you. God bless you, Radcliffe. God bless you. And I just want you know. I just want you know. Just keep up the good works, auntie, and do what you keep doing. You hear me? I tell you, God. After all hard day's work, and we lay down at night time and can pray and see what's going on and them thing there. Yeah. Auntie, we have to just be you. Continue to do the real thing. Yeah, Auntie? Thank you very much. God bless you. Just continue to do the real thing. As we said a while ago, 
I love the big up. Thank as you. much as my lady is sick right now in a bed. Yes, move give them my love. The give, give her my love, won't you? you? You give them a while ago. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, bless God. 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 It's a love. And I rate it and I respect it, you know? Bless God. Bless God. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you big them up a while ago, man. Anyway, yeah. them day in the world, them yeah. here, man. Yeah, man. God bless you. Thank you. So, not say another word. Just keep it real. I'm one love up there. Your auntie. All right. I mean, you're at the coffee. I yeah, said nothing more, yeah? God bless you, Radcliffe. Thank you very much. Take care of your family. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. That was a perfect icing on the cake. Bobby Kadu, how are you, darling? And try. So as I leave you this afternoon, I want the peace of God to rest upon you. It's a different kind of peace, you know. A peace where somebody will cuss you out and you, you, you wonder, how are that? Somebody will tell life and you, you know, touch you, you know, bother you. It's a different kind of peace. It's a peace that come from a different place. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to cry. 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 I'm going to Right, you must have worked my mother. My mother said, You married, no, my mother used to say to him, See, you're married to the devil, but I can't tell you how you can get your divorce. Same, I said to my mother, Say, Oh, me can't get me divorce. My mother said, Turn on and turn to him, say, Go and repent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, everyone, it is indeed a pleasure to serve you, to, uh, to serve you. Not for self, but for the honor and glory I unto God. So I will see you tomorrow on 97.3 Unity with Love Radio. Positive Radio, it's indeed a pleasure to serve you yet another afternoon. 3 to 6 tomorrow with my kiddos from across the globe. And I'm excited to see what the Lord will be doing through the children. So 97.3, God bless you, know, God keep you, make he make his face shine upon you and give you his peace. Oh, you know we will. Keep it locked for Bishop. He's going to be on 106.9. Oh, Jesus. When death has come and taken all love, it leaves our home so. Lonely and dread Then do we wonder While others prosper Living so wretched Year after year Father, Father.